Yeah. Is it distracted by them? No. Water is coming from the pit. Yeah. Hey, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, depending on where in the world, Carmen San Diego, you find yourself today. I am Logan Summit, and we are live. Player X for the Super Bowl. It is the 37th Lee Steinberg Super Bowl party. He's been in the business of just representing great athletes for 50 years. Congratulations to Lee for doing this. Great job for 50 years. He's been throwing this party for 37 of those great years. And you know what? I am sitting next to the incomparable, the lovely, the wonderful, talented Lily Goodfellow. Lily, how are you today? I am doing great. That's fantastic. Are you ready? Are you buckled in for a little bit of this Rocket League action today? Yes. All right, so we have two major schools playing. We've got Michigan against Michigan State. Lily, let's just go by judging by their colors, okay? Let's go judging by their colors. What do you think, or who's got the best jersey? Uh, Michigan. Michigan, all right. Do you think Michigan is going to beat Michigan State because of the, their jerseys nicer than the others? Yes. All right, I love that prediction. I don't know how the, the guys on stage feel about it, but I love that prediction. Now, we're here with the Special Olympics casting today, and that's why Miss Lily is beside me. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the great things that the Special Olympics has been doing and, and you've been a part of, how did you get involved, Lily, with eSports? So I got picked to be, uh, I was picked to be a shoutcaster for, give me for inclusion. And Special Olympics, um, Microsoft and Xbox events. Awesome. And I was picked because I love all sports and I want to be a silent reporter. That's awesome. You want to be a sideline reporter? Well, this is a great place to start. Is there a, a company, Lily, that you'd like to work for? Yes. What company is that? Um, I would like to work for ESPN. There you go, the worldwide leader. You know what, if you're going to grab a job, start at the top. I love that about you. Mm. I've been there out in Bristol, Connecticut, and I have no doubt that you will find yourself in a seat out there very, very soon. We're about to get started with this. Let's take care of a little bit of the business. Today, we are sitting here with some of our favorite sponsors being able to put this great event together. We literally could not do it without them. A big thanks and shout out goes to Player X. Of course, CESI. Sly drinks in the house. Give it up, Sly. And uh, Game Hers, a wonderful organization that I have been proud to be a part of uh, in the past and look forward to working for in the future. Landfest, Next Talent League, Devour, The Neighborhood, Red Light Therapy, Neurocatch, Hightail Media, Tactical Grandma will be in the house a little bit later for Cod. Lily, do you like Cod as well? No. No, there you go. Big fan of Rocket League, not so much a cod. And, uh, of course, our impact sponsor of the day, making it happen for us, the Special Olympics. All right, Lily, tell me what's going on. What do we got happening here? We've got a 0-0 score. No one has put that ball in the back of the net. But what do you see? We've got Knock making a pass to the center. I think that's going to uh, gonna get interrupted there. we got Tim, Tim, Tim Aru getting involved with Rocket Man. Lily, when you see... When you oh my gosh that was super mm. close Lily when yeah. you see what's going on over here how fast is this game for you because for me it's just happening um, it's really fast game it is um, they can score goals make awesome demos and also um, 
great goals. Yeah, well, you know what I think the key to this, like in all sports, Lily, is teamwork making the dream work. This is a three-on-three -three Rocket League best of seven, okay? Yeah. And we've got Michigan against Michigan State. Okay, these are two great schools with two huge rivalries. We already know who you think is going to win. I got to ask you this, Lily. How pretty is this map that they're playing on? Because look at all the – do you see the fish in the background? It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I like it. All right. Well, you know what they like? They like scoring goals. And right now, they're trying to center that ball so that they can get that – Get that to the back who's going to try to push that ball yeah. through that net. Guess what? When Now, Lily, you haven't mm -hmm. ever actually played Rocket League before, have you? No. And what? What? you don't play any esports, right? No, I, I don't. And I have Down syndrome, which makes it harder for um, my fine motor skills oh. and... Very actually, it's so much pretty, so I just love, but I just love watching people play. Well, it is an exciting game to watch. It's so fast-paced, and there's so much going on. But right now, we've got a little bit of a feeling out between the two teams, right? Yes. A stalemate, if you will. Uh, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. We've got goose eggs up on the board. We've had some real opportunities of scoring from both sides, but yeah. I feel like they're just they're getting they're getting used to the the game. They're feeling each other out before they're going to commit. How do you? Th what do you think about that, Lily? Um, I like it. When I started, um, when I did my show casting in New York and L.A., yeah. it was pretty cool and really fun. Okay. And also when I was in L.A. getting to um, like do the broadcast the um, so the tournament was really cool, actually. Now, you were out there in L.A. learning from some of the top shoutcasters in the business. Yes. Lily, is there any advice that you could give me that you learned out there in L.A. so I can become better at what I do? Um, it was really fun, so you could um, be with the um, – you can actually play with UNFA partners. We've seen that in L.A. And there we yeah. go, Nickel. Oh, man, it's worth more than five cents. That's worth a dollar fifty. Nickel with the first goal on the board. That – Got it off to a start. Michigan hmm. is on the board. Michigan State looking like they need to score a goal. We've, we've already had a lot of that first round go down. We've only yeah. got about a, a minute and 20 seconds left. It's 1-0 it's right now. Now, do you have a favorite soccer team? Because this is, this is technically... Oh! Another, I think that's a goal from Michigan State. That is! Knock! Tied it up right there. It's 1-1. One, one. We've got ourselves a heated yeah. battle now. Look at that. Did you see the monster grab the goal right there, Lily? Yeah. That's exciting stuff. Uh, you know what's really fun is all these players have their own cars. Now let's see if we can break this 1-1 one, one tie right now. That was a huge demolition, actually. Yes, it was. It was an explosion of action and excitement. And right now, it's 1-1 one, one right now. So this is, this is with one minute remaining. Yeah. The best team's going to have to win. This is going to see, we're going to test their mettle and yeah. see who can get it done when time is expiring and the game yeah. is on the line. Lily, have you ever been in a situation where you needed to get, get it done and, and you just had to push through? Um, no, actually, but I did a lot of great things. Of that, yeah. What a great block! Did you see that? A yeah. great block with 30 seconds. That may have just saved this. We might be going into overtime, Lily. Well, my well, you might be going into overtime, but if the other two scores, then no overtime. Yeah, absolutely. And who do you think is going to score? We've only got 10 seconds left. Nickel trying to make it happen. Not going up. Not We're going to need a centering pass here yeah. to see what's going to happen. Nickel with a shot on goal. It, yeah. oh. It's totally blocked. The defense got in there. One second it's left. It's overtime. We're going to overtime, Lily. It's already exciting. This is the first game of the day, and it's already an exciting match. All yeah. right. It's 1-1, one, one, Lily. Who do you think is going to score the next goal? Is it going to be Michigan or Michigan State? I think it's got, I think it's got to be Michigan. All right, Lily says Michigan. I guess Michigan State boys, I voted for you. Let's make it happen. Rocket Man trying to trying to get that ball centered. Everybody's trying to get it into the goal right now. Tim Tim A with a great great block right there. 
What, did, what was that, Lily? Did you see what happened? That was, was a demo. That was a demo. That's right. All right. We've got plus 39 seconds, 40. Look, that was a good centering opportunity, but it just got, it just got blocked by uh, Michigan. Michigan State still pushing towards their goal. Nickel with a great play. Timmy pushing it down towards his end. Yeah. All right, there we go. Lily. It's, it, this is a battle of defense right now. Defense yeah. wins championships. That's what they always say. And we have a defensive battle going on right now. Yeah. All right. Real, oh, my gosh. Nope. Can't make it happen, right? Another demo. That was another demo. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Knock and Rocket Man working together to make it happen. Nickel pushing it back down. Rocket Man uh, trying not to score an old goal there. <laughs> and Timmy just won't let him clear that ball. No. I think he just did a kickflip. Was that a kickflip? Somebody called yeah, Tony Hawk. Yeah, that was a kickflip. I think that was a kickflip, Lily. <laughs> Can you do a kickflip, Lily? I can't. I'm I too can't old for see that. Yeah, now. too old. But we've got some intense play right now going on. Yeah. This is a real stalemate, a real battle yeah. of fruition right now. And there we go. Tim mm, Timaroo. Tim Timaroo for Michigan, making it happen. Timmy, Timmy, the crowd goes wild. Lily, how exciting was that? That was awesome. All right. Well, Timmy's got to feel good about where he sits. What a great game winner. University of Michigan takes that first yeah. game one-nil. All right. Timmy, Nickel, great game. Uh, also, Morgan out there. Now, Dex is from Boston. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. From our, our man Dex from Michigan. He's from Boston. Everybody else... Everybody else is from Michigan, yeah. but Dex lives out there on the East Coast. I have lived down in Boston. It's a great area, and I got to tell you, Dex is making it happen for the team, but Timmy was a real deciding factor in that last match. I think Tim Timaru uh, should get the MVP of game number one. What do you think, Lily? Yeah. All right, there we go. We, we've said that Timmy is the MVP of game number one. Uh, he's got the top score. There you go. We already called it. Oh, yeah. See, 550 going to Timmy. Nickel coming in. And uh, some very exciting things happening out here today. At the play We're at the Player X Arena. Yeah. In the middle of the game. All right. Rest those engines, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Tell us what you see. Right now I see an... Um defense. Well, there's some exciting gameplay going on. That yeah. first match was really a stalemate, and uh, it was a defensive battle. I think we're going to be in for more of that. Yeah. I don't think I don't think a lot of the players are going to put themselves out there. They don't want to yeah. make a mistake, right, Lily? No, they don't. Because as we saw in that low-scoring first game, one mistake could mean the difference between a yeah. loss, right? Yeah. All right. Well, Michigan getting it out of their end, Michigan State. Uh, we've got a ping pong battle to the death over here. Yeah. They're going back and forth playing catch, right? Yeah. We just got a demo right over there. Oh, did we get a demo? Yeah. Whenever we get an explosion on screen, Miss Lily is going to say what? A demo. There you go. Let them know. Let them know at home. Now, for everybody that's at home that may have never seen Rocket League, this is basically soccer with cars, right, yep. Lily? Yeah. All right. We've got three on three, so it's not a traditional soccer match. We got less than that, but this yeah. is soccer with cars, and it is exciting. There are different boosts all over the map, and you got to use those boosts to your advantage. Yeah. And the team that gets the ball in the back of the yeah. net more times than not will be victorious. Yep. It is similar to FIFA. It is similar, right? Yeah. Now, do you have a favorite soccer team? Um, no, but I like all teams. Okay, you like all teams. Well, yeah. you know what? I like that about you. I have a favorite soccer team. I love Chelsea in the English Premier League. That's my favorite team. Yeah. But I'll tell you today, Michigan and Michigan State got to be two of my favorite teams. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Timmy, we decided, was our MVP of game number one. Uh, his favorite game outside of Rocket League is Valorant. Have yeah. you ever watched or casted a Valorant tournament? No. no. Well, I have a couple times, and I got it. That was a demo. That was a demo. High five, Lily. Yeah, demo. We got a demo going. Let's do it. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. We got Goose Eggs going. It's another defensive battle. Boom. That was another demo. Boom! Yeah, let's go. And a goal. Go, give, me, give me the big Lily. Give me a big Lily in. Go! Oh, there you go. Go! All right, Michigan State getting on the board first. That was a great goal. Mar, his first name's Bennett. He goes by Mar. And he got the boys on the board. All right, that was a great. I, it, it looked yeah. like a shot. It may have been a pass. We got another and shot on. That's back to back, baby. Back to back. Goal! <laughs> yeah. You can cut the tension with a knife, Lily. This yeah. is exciting. Yeah. All right. Michigan State in firm control, 2-2-0, two, two, with Mar scoring both goals, going yeah. back to back. So, Lily, would you say Mar is our MVP of this game so far? Yep. I, I would say so. I agree. I agree. Michigan State really putting together a game. Yeah. And getting on that board back to back within, within a couple seconds of each other. Yeah. They're playing off that backboard. Yeah. And now we got a shot on goal. Nickel with a great save. Yeah. Just in the nick of time. See what I did there, Lily? Yes. All right, we got another shot on goal. Nickel with another great save. Pushing it out. Trying to get it out of their zone. But Michigan State applying the pressure. It was knock. Knock scored another goal, making it three to nil. Michigan State is in firm control of this game. Wouldn't you say, Lily? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, the Michigan State boys are getting it done. Let's see if Michigan will be able to respond. Yep. All right, Marr pushing it into their zone. Rocket Man looking for the pass. Right off the bat, Knox going to try to get that in front of the goal. And it's being pushed away fervently by the boys in the blue. And, and Marr! scores again. Guess what that is? Lily, throw hat trick. Yeah! Throw your hat in the ring. That's a hat trick. Lily, let's give a high five for a hat trick. Boom, baby, boom. It's four to nil right now. Mar is just going absolutely insane out there. Michigan can't stop Mar. They've got to find an answer yeah. for Mar right now. Right now. Yeah. Look at that great save. One minute remaining. Yeah. Lily, I don't think there's enough time in this game to score four goals. What do you think? I don't know. You don't know? And they just scored. They just scored. Can they score three more, Lily, to tie it up? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know if there's enough time. They, there might be time for Bed Bath & Beyond later. Later, though, Lily. Okay? Yeah. All right. Michigan getting erasing that goose egg. That, we're going to like that. That's got to be good for their confidence. Because going down four to nil is not, is not something that you want to do. Yeah. All right, let's see if Michigan can score a couple more goals and, and maybe even get back in this. There's enough time. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. No. Nope. Zach skated right past the goal. That was yeah. a great opportunity. 30 seconds remaining. A great, a great opportunity to score yeah. once again. With, they missed that one, too. You got to put it in the back of the net. Yeah. That's the name of the game, right, Lily? Yeah. All right, Lily. He scored again. Knox scored again. That's five to one. You know what? I think this one's over. Lily, I got to ask you. Mm -hmm. What do you like most about eSports? I like this very, very inclusive. Yeah? You like that monster eating up the balls in the back of the goal, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. All right. There's only 15 seconds. I don't think they are going to have it. Uh, that's a lot of time to score, uh, score full Another goals. demo. Another demo. There you go. Three, two, two, one. And game number two has been completed. 
Yeah. Michigan State getting on the board. We've got injury time right now. They're, still, they're actually still playing. Yeah, they are. It's, it's injury time like real soccer. Oh. All right, there we go. Michigan State University winning game number two. It is a best of seven. Yeah. All right, so Michigan State was able to uh, able to come back and uh, you know show the boys in blue. Hey, we're here to play some Rocket League. Yeah. We didn't come to chew bubble gum. No. No, we're all on a bubble gum, Lily. So it's time to play Rocket League. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this: that is some exciting, exciting action out there. Yeah. What, what do you like most about Rocket League, Lily? Um, everything. Everything. You know what I like? I like the shiny cars moving fast, right? I'm a simple person with simple needs. I like shiny cars moving fast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And Lily, is this your first time in Vegas? Um, no. No? You've been here before? What did you go? What event were you at the last time you were here? Actually, I was visiting our neighbor. Well, I assume a lot of these players up here on the stage have never been to Vegas either. This yeah. is probably their first time. And you know what? Vegas is a beautiful place to play some Rocket League. Yeah. All right. We've got game number three. Lily, after watching Michigan and Michigan State battle it out for supremacy for yeah. a little bit, do you still think Michigan's going to take it or uh, have the tides so. turn? I think, I think it's both. All right. Well, we'll see if your prediction holds up, Lily. I think it's a fair assumption on your part. Yeah. That's going to be a goal. Rocket Man, Elton John would be proud. He's searching for the stars. He's making it happen on his own time. And Michigan State once again on the ball, making that goose egg go away. It is one to nil in game number three. That's exciting stuff. Let's see if they get Marr back involved. Marr, of course, scored, scored at least a hat trick in the yeah. last event. All right, that's a good pass over there to Rocket Man sitting in the corner, but Rocket Man kicks it out and puts it back. Timmy, not, oh. not letting him clear it. Not letting him clear it, Lily. Yeah. Going right in front of that goal. No. Nope. I think that was actually a shot, Lily. I don't think that was a pass. I think that they're going, was a shot. That was, right? They're going for the long ball. Yeah. Look at the control. Look at yeah. that control. That that great spinning motion. That is that is dedication and years of practice, Lily. Yeah. That is one of those moves. It looks like a kickflip to uh, uh, somebody who's a layman, but that is a story move right yeah. here on the Rocket League field. Yeah. The pitch, as they may refer to it. Yeah. Lily, talk to me about what's going on. It looks like there's a, there's a demo right now. That is a demo, Lily. Yeah. That is. All right, when you, when you see uh, these great teams going back and forth. I see a battle of fruition between two great yeah. teams, and it's a defensive battle uh, once again. That last game, I think, got away from Michigan. But I think the boys in blue learned something from that last match, and they're making adjustments yeah. now, because even though Michigan State does have one goal up on the board, they're not they're not uh, dominating the way they did in the previous game. Right, Lily? Yeah. yeah. So Lily, we're watching soccer, we're talking about Rocket League, yeah. but one of your favorite sports, it's got to be baseball, because a little yeah. birdie told me that you work with the Chicago Cubs. Yep. How did you get to work with the Chicago Cubs? It was a lot of fun. Yeah? Uh, I'm great. It was really fun. I want to work with the Chicago Cubs. Maybe you could get me a job. Yeah. Now, Lily, have they let you sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game during the seventh inning stretch? No. You know what? You guys need to do that. Chicago Cubs organization, Theo Epstein. I'm going to need you to let it's my lovely Lily knock. do the seventh inning stretch. And what happened, Lily, while I'm talking? We had a goal from Knox. Knox there. scored a goal, making it 2 to nil. Michigan State in control once again. Your boys in blue aren't holding it together, Lily. No. Are you having fun? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's just going to be a great day of esports, esports action for the Special yep. Olympics for Lee Steinberg's 37th annual Super Bowl party. 
A big thank you to some of our lovely sponsors today, Player X, CESI, Fly Drinks, and Game Hers. We'll get to the rest of them in just a little bit. Yeah. Now, Lily, the boys of Blue are letting you down right now. Yeah. If you could say one thing motivational to Michigan to get them back into it, what do you think that would be? Believing yourself and don't let anyone put it down. I love it. I believe in them. They should believe in themselves. Absolutely fantastic. There you go. So what do you think of our little arena today, Lily? It looks pretty cool. Yeah, a big thank you to everybody that came out here and put all the work into this production, making this great event yeah. come, come together. We couldn't do it without you. So thank you to our production team today. We truly appreciate your efforts. Yeah. What, that, now that was an excellent block. Yeah. Right there, Michigan, with a huge block. Juventix. Uh, really saving another goal and, and allowing Michigan to stay in this match. It's only 2-0. Yeah. That is not a huge lead for Rocket League. With only 30 seconds remaining, it is very, very possible for Michigan to score two goals yeah. and get this game tied up so we can push this bad boy into overtime. Yeah. One that really says only two zero. Well, that was a demo. That was a demo, absolutely, Lily. All right, this game has come to an end. I hear somebody singing in the background. That and now we've got end. some injury time. All right. Injury time doesn't happen in Rocket League, Logan. No? No. Oh, all right. There's no injury time in Rocket League. <laughs> all right, there you go. Michigan State pulling ahead. What do, you th what do you think about that, Lily? It's awesome. Yes, it absolutely is. We got Michigan State doing their thing over there. Now, the boys in blue are letting it get away from them. I think they need to take a little bit of a timeout, maybe maybe, maybe uh, get together as a team, yeah. talk to their coach, and that's exactly what they're doing on stage right now, Lily. Yeah. Now, if you were, if you were Michigan's coach, you'd tell them to believe in themselves, right? Yeah. All right, I, I think that's probably what they were told. Now let's see if the motivation from the coach will hold up as we go into the next game. Yep. It is right now a Michigan State with the lead, best of seven, two to one. And thank you for joining us. If you've never watched Rocket League before, guess what, you're in for some excitement. Yeah. It's basically soccer with cars, kids. We're driving fast, we're playing hard, and we're having fun. We've got one of the greatest rivalries in all of college. Sports, Michigan against Michigan State today. I assume it's a lot of the boys' first time here in Vegas. Do you think, Lily, that they've got some big game Vegas jitters, just like yeah. the Super Bowl players are going to have on Sunday? Yeah. Knock that score. Tell me what happened. Knock that score. That's right. Knock with a score. Putting Michigan State up on the board. One to nil. Once again, Michigan State uh, first to score out of the gun. Yeah. You know what, Lily? You know what I'm noticing? I'm noticing a trend. Yeah. You know what that trend is? What? First team to score wins. Hmm. Have you noticed that yet? Yeah. In each round, the first team to score has won. Let's see if that trend continues. Yeah. Now, Lily, when you work for the Chicago Cubs, what do you do over there for them? I am a greeter. So You're a greeter? What, what is a greeter's job? To greet people. To greet people. Fantastic. And I'm sure you're, you're good at that, right? Yeah, I am. Now, now, do you offer high fives or just handshakes? What do, what do you prefer? I don't know. I like all of it. I prefer high fives. Yeah. High fives. Let's do it. Boom! There we go. We've got some hot Rocket League action today. And these two teams are playing their hearts out. Michigan State, though, is playing better than Michigan. And yeah. I think they know that for a fact. That's a score for Rocket Man. Rocket Man! Making it happen. Elton John's uh, prodigy once again putting that ball in the back of the net. I know they don't call it a ball, but I'm going to call it whatever I want. Now, that's 2-0. to nil. Michigan State coming out in the league once yeah. again. They might be running away with this, Lily. Yeah. If Michigan doesn't stop them here, 
and lets them get up three to one. I, I, I think we may have we may have some issues. Yeah. Because that's going to be game. Uh, it, it'll be game match uh, point on the other side. Yeah. So Michigan really needs to step it up. Tim yeah. Timaru and Nick. Oh, that was a demo. That was a demo, Lily. That was. Tim Timaru is going to have to do some things over there. Now, Lily, I am a firm believer in sports yeah. and in esports, and I believe Bill Belichick would agree with me. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to take a timeout and yeah. gather your team and reorganize yourself. Yeah. Do you think that's something that Michigan should do here? Yeah. I agree with you. Maybe take a time out, talk things over. Doesn't look like they were able to shake the fog off from that plane flight. Whereas Michigan State yeah. is having no issues with that. What's happening? Knock the score. Yeah. Knock with another score. That's a couple for knock already. It's three to nil. And once again, Michigan State taking the lead, pushing that lead, and they are in firm control of this best of seven series. It yeah. is two to one. We've got two minutes and 20 seconds left yep. in the fourth match. Yeah. All right. Now, Rocket Man centering to Mar. Mar not able to make that happen. No. Nope. Nickel getting involved. But Rocket Man is trying to get it to the center again. Timmy's going to nope. get it out of their zone for the first time in quite a little while. They need to get a shot on net. They haven't had any in a hot second. Right now, it's Michigan State in full control. Yeah. Lily, what do you think is the most exciting aspect of Rocket League? Is everything. It, everything about it? Yeah. All right. I think it's a fast-paced action. Yeah. Yeah, the pretty cars. You know what? You're right. It is yeah. everything. It's a fast-paced action. It's the pretty cars. Yeah. And you know what? It's the camaraderie between the two teams. What I love about this is we've got one of the biggest rivalries in all of sports. Yeah. But they came over on the same plane. They are friends. They're hanging out and enjoying Vegas together, yeah. which is such a wonderful thing. Esports bringing people together everywhere in the world. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yes. Now, do you have a lot of friends that are esports pros? Have you been able to meet any any no. players? No. Well, you know what? Tactical Grandma will be here today. We can definitely introduce you to her. And you, it's not true, Lily, because you know we met all these great players that are on yeah. our stage earlier today, right? Yeah. We took some pictures with them. Look at that. So close. It got it centered off the back. That was actually a pass yeah. off the back. That was meant to be a pass. Rocket Man gonna find the angle for Mar. Mar nope. not able to happen. Nickel mixing it up and getting involved in that action. We've got 30 seconds remaining, yep. Lily. And I think once again, Michigan State is gonna bring this one home. Yeah. They're gonna be running away with it. We've got 19 seconds. Great save! Good Rocket Man. Rocket Man, sing it with me. Rocket Man! Yes, Lily. Rocket Man making it happen. Look. They, they blocked that ball at least two times. Third time's the charm, Lily, right? Yeah. All right. Michigan State is getting it done. And we want to give a big thank you to the Special Olympics for being our impact sponsor here today at the 37th annual Lee Steinberg Super Bowl party. Yeah. All right. The countdown has begun. Not enough time in the day for Michigan. Oh, Nicholas Gordon. Not enough, uh, too little, too late, I think, really. But that's got to be good for their for their confidence, though, yeah. right, really? Yeah. That's, look at that. We got some bunnies and some hearts on the. I like that. I'm good with bunnies and hearts. Yeah. All right, we've got three seconds. That clock is ticking. Let's see if we can get another goal in real quick. Nope. And we've got it down to zero. That's all she wrote. And Michigan State University, once again. Yeah. Taking that lead. Well, it's three to one. It's yeah. three to one. It's a best of seven. So you know what that means, Lily? Yeah. What does it mean? I don't know. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to help you out. And at just as much as you've been helping me out this entire mm. time, by the way, I want to give a big thank you to my lovely co-host, uh, Lily Goodfellow, mm. for carrying me through this l Rocket League. All right. I'll tell you what this means. We're at, uh, we're at game point here. 
Yeah. Is the boys in green have the ability to shut it down and, and make it make it finite. Or yeah. fin, as the French might say. Yeah. I don't think they say that. No. All right, it's game five and seven. We're in a best of seven. We've got another five minutes up on the board. Clear those scores. It's zero, zero, kids. We're in it to win it. Timmy just scored. Timmy, Tim Timaru, making it happen. He scored right off the bat. That looks good for Michigan. Because what did we, what did we know? What did we find out? Michigan just scored first. So what does that mean? Um, they're gonna win Michigan State. They're gonna, they're gonna win, right? Because yeah. the team that scored first has won previously all day long. Let's see if that holds up. Yeah. All right, Michigan State pushing it, pushing the narrative, and really, really being aggressive here. Yeah. Uh, Michigan up on the board, taking that goose egg away. I like that for their confidence. Yeah. At this point, they need to get into the action. Yeah. If Michigan doesn't make it happen here, it might be too little too late as yeah. Michigan State is running away from it. We've got a good centering pass from Mar. Uh, Juventus was able to kick it out. We've got a pass off the back of Tim Simmons. Yo, high fives for Timmy! Boom! Timmy with back-to-back -back victories. We absolutely love that for you, Tim. Somewhere Timmy's parents are screaming, that's my son, that's my son. Don't send your laundry home, we don't want it. Uh, and Michigan, true to form right now. Scored first, scored second. Yeah. And they're, they're looking to win. However, Timmy pushing that ball, and trying to get it out. Yeah. Michigan State Rocket Man. That's a that's a great pass back. Yeah. Get it over that half that half point. You got to keep the ball in that in that other yeah. zone, right? You got to keep the pressure on. If you're Michigan right now, I would be heavily pressuring Michigan State. Don't let up, boys. The boys in blue need to go through to the end. Keep doing it as good as they can. Four. Like, another, like, another score. And Mar scored again. Mar has done it. He has put Michigan State on the map. No goose egg for Michigan State. It is now 2-1 to one Michigan, but Michigan State and Mar up on the board here. Getting it done. They don't want Michigan to run away with it quite yet. There's a, a number four right over there. Uh, for blue. Why? There you go. Give me more of that, Lily. Give me more of that. Talk. And the number four, blue. What is that? The number four in blue? Yeah. What do you mean? I'm sorry. Like there's no name in there. Oh, there's no name? You want to know who number four is? Rocket Man is in the fourth position. Ah. And Rocket Man scored his name. Rocket sake. Man. Making it happen. It's now tied up two to two, Lily. Yeah. Look, Michigan State not letting uh, Michigan Make it easy for him. Yeah. This is a hard fought battle right now. Michigan State is leading the best of seven, three to one right now. And it is now tied up to all. Yeah. Now I told you earlier that the first team that scored first traditionally yeah. won the game. Now it's tied up, so Michigan has to put in a little bit of work uh, yeah. to make that few inches. Yeah. All right, Knock missed that, and I bet you he wishes he could have that back. Yeah. That was a good centering pass, but Knock, it knocked on by. Nope. We got some lovely people dressed wonderfully walking into the room. That's a wonderful dinner jacket, sir. Would you like to Would you like to show everybody that lovely dinner jacket? Please come in. Look at, look at, look at that. Viva Las Vegas, everybody, because dressed to win and dressed to impress. We're gonna be talking later. You're gonna be playing some Madden, I believe. Thumbs are a little weak, all right. You know what, I think that's a cop out, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. We just had a score for Michigan. We just had a score for Michigan. Lily, give me a high five. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, we got this. Now, Michigan's doing the work, right? Yeah. It's three to two, Michigan, Michigan State. They're getting it done. Did you see that great jacket? That's a beautiful jacket. Yeah. Lily, my birthday's in June. I want you to send me that jacket, okay? Okay. All right. 
When's your birthday, Lily? What May. Month? May? Yeah. All right, so I'll send you a jacket first. Oh, no. my gosh! Off the crossbar, Lily. Hey, Rocket Man scores. And Rocket Man tying it up. 3-3. Three, three. This is a battle of bewitches. This is a teeter-totter battle for supremacy. This is a ping-pong match to the death. It's back and forth, back and forth. 3-3. Three to three. Yeah. Oh, man, Lily, it's too close to call. Who do you have? Is it still Michigan? Yeah. Still Michigan for Lily. I think Michigan State's going to bring it home. Yeah. Boom! No, at me in. As I said it, it's almost as though I looked into a crystal ball, warmed that bad boy up, and I made it happen. I think that's yeah. my goal, Lily. Lily, I think I scored that for him. No, he scored it. Oh, I guess he did. All right. We'll, we'll give them the credit as well. Yeah. All right, now Michigan State up four to three right here. Oh, look at that! Timmy Timmy, Timmy tied it up. I left my seat for that. Timmy didn't even think that was gonna go in. Timmy, did you call that? You're supposed to call that. Yo, that was an alley-oop by Timmy, and it's four to four. This is the action that you can't get anywhere else except in a great game like Rocket League. Yeah. Uh, it's just a battle of defenses, and, and, it, and it really shows. Recommend. Making it happen once again, not allowing Michigan to get comfortable. Rocket Man making it five to four. Michigan State in control for right now. This is crazy. Yeah. Did you think we were gonna have a high scoring affair like this, Lily? Yeah. Now, Lily, what's the best part of working with the Special Olympics? Um, a lot. Would you say it's the people do you, do you love getting in there and working with the people yes, at the Special Olympics? I do. Yeah. One minute remaining, Lily. It's four to five. Michigan State is in the lead. Yeah. Do you think Michigan has what it takes to get tie it I up? I think so. Oh, real close. Real close, but not with a save right there. Not coming through, making it happen. All right, Mar. We got teamwork making the dream work, but they got lost in the sauce there, Lily. Rocket Man needs to take control. Nichols yeah. passing it up to Timmy. Timmy's passing it over to Juventix. Yeah. And we've got ourselves some real, real teamwork. That was a great tat attack. Yeah. Back and forth for Michigan. Not being able to finish it with a goal, though. They weren't able to put the ball in the back of the net. And they've yeah. got about 20 seconds to do so. Yeah. They need to do it right now. We got a yeah. great centering pass. Oh, Mar able to knock it out. Timmy making it back into the center. Oh. Juventix. Almost had it, not able yeah. to push it in. And oh my gosh. There we go. Lily, guess what just happened? Michigan State won. Michigan State won. Yeah. All right. Well, yellow and blue make green, but not today. No. Um, not today, okay? No. All right, Lily. That was exciting. Who do you think on Michigan State was, uh, was the MVP of their team? I mean, that was... Dr Teamwork making the dream work, right? I actually don't know. All right, well, it's got to be. Look, we've got Rocket Man, Mar, Knock. They all played particularly yeah. well today. That was truly exciting back and forth. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to get some of the great uh, athletes from the Special Olympics, and they're going to come in, yeah. and, and we're going to get one on each team. One uh, Special Olympics athlete is going to play some more Rocket League. Uh, on each team. So yeah. that's really exciting. Now, have you got to meet any of these great Special Olympics athletes that are gonna be joining us on stage? Um, I don't know, I haven't met them yet. I, I got to meet one of them earlier and I have to say he was a really nice gentleman who uh, loves Rocket League and is ready to put a hurting on the other team, but of course, in a friendship yeah. way. You know what was great is everybody's shaking hands. Guys, give each other a hug. Don't be scared, it's okay. And, and a great rivalry in all of sports here, making it happen in Vegas for the 37th annual Lee Steinberg Super Bowl party uh, in our, our Player X arena here at the Ahern Hotel. Big thank you to Player X. Big thank you to CESI, Slide Drinks, Game Hers, Land Fest, Next Talent League, Devour, The Neighborhood, Red Light Therapy, Neurocatch, uh, Hightail Media, 
Tactical Grandma will be in the house later. I can't wait to speak to her. She's great people. And, of course, Five Star Pro Academy and our Impact Sponsor of the Day. Who is it? You know it. I don't know. Yes, you do. Special Olympics. Yes, it is Special Olympics. High five, Lily. Boom! Lily and I are going to be holding down some more games here uh, in the Player X Arena. We've got more Rocket League action on the way. Look, yeah. if you're already in the building, there are some great celebrities here uh, yeah. that are helping us do this great uh, event and, and be able to give back to the Special Olympics yeah. because the Special Olympics is a great organization that has helped so many people like yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Lily? Hmm? What do you think will be the outcome now? Look, we've got, we've got two new players coming into this, okay? Yeah. Now, you picked Michigan last time. Yeah. I picked Michigan State. I'm not going to say anything, yeah. but Michigan State won. Yeah. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you first pick again. Okay. Do you think with these new great Special Olympics athletes that Michigan State is going to be able to pull off another victory? Or do you think it's Michigan's time to shine? Well, I don't know. It's, 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 it's a little different. It is a little different. You know what? Predictions are always very hard, right? Yeah. A, because there's so many factors that go into it. And B, you know what? You don't want to be the mean person and say one or the other. Do you have any problems with that when you pick a winner? No. No. I love that about you, Lily. You know what? Both teams are in it to win it, but you have to lose to learn, okay? Yeah. In it to win it, but we lose to learn. Yeah. That's what we do. Now, Lily... You work for the Chicago Cubs. Yes. You want to work for ESPN. Yes. You're so young, so talented, so beautiful, doing all this great stuff out here with a great support team behind you. What team would you want to be a sideline reporter for? If you could pick one team out there that you could pick to be their sideline reporter. I don't care what sport it is, Lily. Mm -hmm. Any team you want, what team would that be? And the Chicago Bulls. The Chicago Bulls? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love that. You know what? And a bunch of these guys up here uh, picked the Chicago Bulls uh, to be there. Yo, where's Zub? Mad. Raise your hand, Mad. Mad, Mad has the Chicago Bulls. You know what? I feel bad for Michigan because Michigan culture in the day would have your head for saying another team other than Michigan. He has apologized, and he said it's the way it is. Michigan cut his funding. Send him home. <laughs> I'm joking. Obviously, it's so great to have these teams here participating. And in, in collegiate sports, esports are so important. Actually, yeah. you know what? Hey, Mad. Mad. Mad, come on over for a second. Come on over. Come on over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the microphone, uh, the other microphone on, guys. All right. Look, collegiate sports are so very important to colleges and college recruiting. I don't think the schools themselves realize that in 2030, this business will be worth $30 billion, and most of the recruiting that they're going to do is going to be through esports teams like yourself. Do you agree with me? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I think the size of the collegiate industry right now for esports is immense, and it grows even more every single year. I think 2030 is a fantastic goal for us for $30 billion. $30 billion in 2030. Here's the other great thing about that. I'll tell you this. Um, kids don't play sports as much as they used to, do they? It's true. It's a sad fact. But guess what? 98% of kids play video games. I'll see you on the other side. That's our cue. We're going to get back to it. All right. So we've got our special, special Olympics athletes taking the stage. That was mad, yeah. by the way, from, Michigan's, uh, from Michigan. He's our yeah. fourth player. We didn't see him up there. Maybe he could have made the difference for Michigan. But you know what? Great guy. And esports uh, are thriving heavily at Michigan and Michigan yeah. State, and we love to see that. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to take a look at the uh, coach, uh, speak to the coaches a little bit later. Yeah. And I, I feel like Lexi has something to give me, but no? Okay. Just making sure we're taking care of everything. Please do. All right, so we're going to find out, Lily, who the, uh, the sub players are. Okay. All right, Lily. Now, you've had, you've, I, I watched you have a strawberry banana smoothie earlier. Yeah. 
I, I could go for a strawberry banana smoothie right now, Lily. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah, you want to go buy me a strawberry banana smoothie? No. no. Well, I can't afford my strawberry banana smoothie today, Lily. Because we're shoutcasting Rocket League. You're shoutcasting Rocket League, exactly. Give me high fives, Lily. Let's go. Boom, high fives. And what happens when we see an explosion on the screen, Lily? Demo. Demo, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, too. Oh, man, Rocket League is just so exciting. And this great event with all these wonderful athletes, wonderful supporters, and, uh, you know, we just can't say enough about the Special Olympics being here today, being in the house, and being part of the 37th annual Lee Steinberg Super Bowl party. He's yeah. been being an agent in, the, in this industry for 50 years, and for 37 of those beautiful uh, years, he's been throwing this kick-butt party every single year. And, Lily, I can tell you this. Mm -hmm. I'm truly excited to be sitting beside you mm -hmm. at this great event. Yeah. All right. We're going to go to break in just a little bit. We're going to be back on the flip side with more Rocket League action live from the Player X Arena at the Ahern Hotel here for the 37th annual Lee Steinberg Super Bowl event. If you're not here, <laughs> you're wishing you were. <laughs>
And here we are once again live from the Player X Arena at the Ahern Hotel right here in beautiful Viva Las Vegas, Lily. I've got Lily Goodfellow next to me. And Lily, we're doing Rocket League here at the Lee Steinberg 37th Annual Super Bowl Bonanza. We've got two new players in there, and they're from the Special Olympics. Yeah. On Michigan State, we've got Evan Laurens, and it, it, with our boys in blue from Michigan, we've got Paul Brooks. Now, I think they're gonna be the deciding factor because yeah. Michigan State kinda ran away with it uh, against Michigan. I think that these new players from the, the Special Olympics athletes are gonna be the X factor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right, now Lily, are you still taking Michigan to win? Oh, I, don't, I like both. You like both, all right. I get you. You know what? Michigan State showed us what they have. Let's see if they can continue that winning feeling, Lily, as we open it up. We've got 0-0 zero, zero thus far. That's because why, Lily? Because it's awesome! And yes, and we just started the match and no one scored. So, we've got five more minutes of Rocket League action right now. Yeah. Now, they're going to be playing... Oh, so they're going to be using the other player's characters. All right. So, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Yeah. And I'm not entirely sure on the new format if we're just playing one or if it's another best of seven, but I'm sure we'll find out here in a moment. Yeah. Demo. And there you go. We've got our first demo of the second round of Rocket League. Another demo. Another demo. Lily calling out all the explosions, giving me a little demo. Absolutely love it. What was that, Lily? Demo. Another demo. Lots of them happening. Back. Another demo. Oh, my gosh. Everything's exploding all over the screen, Lily. <laughs> You're making it happen. All right. Now, the one thing that we noticed from, um, you know, if you've been with us all day, the one thing we've noticed is teamwork is the key to victory. Knock scored. And knock. Knocking it in right off the bat. That's one to nil. Yeah. You know what? Michigan State continuing their winning ways and scoring right off the bat, making yeah. it one to nil. All right, we've got a lot of time left, Lily. There's a lot of great Rocket League action. Yeah. We're going to need Michigan to, to start putting a little bit of pedal to the metal, if you will. Yeah. That's a great pass off the back. Let's see if we can see. we got a center. You know what? Somebody's got to be there to pick up that and put yeah. it in the back of the net. Yeah. So, Lily, have you learned anything by watching these great people play Rocket League no. today? Oh, yeah. my gosh, this is dancing in front of the net. It's mm. dancing. Go find your home. Go in your home. It's just dancing there. Yeah. That ball was set to, to be a goal. Not but it just. There's another demo. There's another demo. That, that ball was set to be a goal, but it yeah. was blocked. That one, too. Rocket Man kicking it back out. We've got Nickel trying to get it out to the center. Timmy's got yeah. a chance at it. Tim Timaru, can you make it happen? Timmy. Juventix. Man, we've got a stallmate right now. Yeah. We're at the 50-yard line if we were using football terms, yeah. and we're not pushing it through quite yet. I see my good friend Zach is in the building. Good to see him today. Way to wake up and smell the fresh flowers. We've got a lot of exciting action and more today. Yeah. Look, look, Lily, after this NBA 2K, we've yeah. got Madden, we've got Call of Duty, yeah. we've got celebrities, ex-NFL players, and just a lot of exciting awesomeness going yeah. on all day long here. And it is going to be absolutely an amazing event to be a part of. So if you're here, you another are. Demo. There, we got another demo. Lily, high five for the demo. Boom, high five for the demos. And Michigan State's still in the lead, but it's only 1-0. If Michigan can get together as a team and make that dream work, yeah. I, I, I think I think we'll have ourselves a little bit better of a match. It might be a little bit more evenly matched this time around. Love the Dolphins. Go Dolphins. 
I, after we left ESPN, we did a sports talk show down in Miami. I've got nothing but love for that organization. They were good to me. And you know what? Mike, Mike has done a great job with the culture down there. And I really thought they were going to win the Super Bowl this year. But I'll tell you this. You can't win a Super Bowl without great defense. And we had six of our best defensive players on the sidelines. So you know what, Miami? It's OK. Tuck your boots into, uh, tuck your pants into your boots and get back into it. We got another demo on the board. Lily not allowing me to talk about football. Why? Because we're here to talk about what, Lily? Rocket League. Rocket League, that's right. Rocket League all day long. Miss Lily Goodfell throwing it down with me for the Special Olympics and Michigan against Michigan State. Yeah. So, Lily, are you ready for the big dinner tonight? Yeah. They're gonna feed us. What's your favorite food, Lily? I don't know. No, oh, come on, Lily. You gotta have a favorite? Pizza? Burgers? Bacon? Bacon. Bacon. She's a bacon lover, kids. That's why I love her. All right. We got 15 seconds left. Michigan State with the lone goal on the board today. Knock trying to make it rock right now. Yeah. We've got less than 10, and we're going to get uh. a goal. We're going to tie it up. Timmy. Timmy making it happen. Tim Timaru. All right, it's 1-1. One, one. They tied it up with eight seconds left, Lily. Yeah. We might go into overtime here. Yeah. We might have an overtime. Five, count it with me. Four, Four three, three, two, two one. one. And time is up. We're going to overtime, Lily. Are you excited? I'm excited. Oh, yeah. All right, right off the bat, they get in there to mix it up. We've got two teams that are just really at a stalemate right now. It's yeah. back and forth. It is a vicious game of poker. It is a uh, a game of death if yeah. we were on a teeter-totter or a ping-pong ball uh, court. But yeah. we're not. We're in Rocket League. All right. Juventus trying to center it out there. Knock wanted to take that over, no. but got caught standing still. Yeah. This is a very kinetic game. There's no time to be uh, to be sitting around uh, counting your 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 chain your money before you've cashed the check. Yeah. You got to put that ball in the back of the net. That yeah. rhymes, Lily. Do you like to rhyme? Yes. Yeah. All right. So Lily, they just got they just grabbed one of those uh, power ups. And those yeah. are really important in this because it allows the team to have a, that that car to have a boost of power yeah. uh, to, to get to get them through and uh, push that ball into the back. That's a far one. It's not going to make it. Yeah. Just a bit outside, but you know what? That was a great shot on net from all the way in the back. That's a good one, though. It was a good one, and I see my good friend Alex standing around in front of me. It's good to see you in town with the Game Hers organization, which Lily, I think you should work with. Game Hers is a beautiful organization within eSports that allows yeah. women and empowers them to be part of the eSports community. Yeah. Another demo. Another demo, give me a high five, Lily. Boom, we got demos all around. It's 1-1 right now. We've got Michigan against Michigan State. And we've got two great uh, Special Olympics athletes joining them, Evan LaRons, uh, playing with Michigan State and Paul Brooks playing Another, for the blue. Goal. Timmy scored! All right, Michigan pulling away with it. They weren't able to win the last uh, round, but it is now two to one. All right, there you go, game one. Michigan making it happen. The boys yeah. in blue getting it done. All right, Lily. Are, are we doing another one? I think so. Yeah? Two more? Oh, Drew Brees is in the house. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Drew Brees. I'm, t I'm talking to you. You're one of my favorite people. Lily, we got, we, got, we got Drew Brees in the house. The man made things happen on a football field. He got it done. You have a Drew Brees jersey? Yeah. My co-host, Lily Goodfellow, has a Drew Brees jersey. Where did you get the Drew Brees jersey? Does it hang on your wall or do you wear it to school? 
I I don't know. I have it here in my closet. You know what? I think we're going to have to get that Drew Brees jersey autographed by Mr. Drew Brees while he's here. Well, I don't have it with me. I didn't bring it. I bet you if we ask nicely, we could get your mom to send it to him and maybe even have him yeah. send it back. But don't, I mean, I'm not speaking mm. for Drew Brees right now, but maybe we t uh, tug on his heartstrings a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. My, I'll tell you, my lovely caster, Lily Goodfellow, is a huge Drew Brees fan, has a Drew Brees uh, jersey, and is going to get a Drew Brees autograph in just a second. We're going to wrap this up. We're yeah. going to continue on. You know what's coming up next? We've got NBA 2K, baby. It's going to be truly exciting. We are here at the 37th Annual Lee Steinberg Super Bowl Party, live at the Player X Arena. I have had the pleasure of casting with Lily Goodfellow. Thank you, Lily, for being here. You want to do one more high five with me? Yeah. All right. Boom. Boom! Now, Lily, look in that camera, smile proud, and tell everybody at home where they can find you. They can find me at, on Lily Sports Beat. You can check it out on YouTube. That's fantastic. Lily, thanks for carrying me through this event. I can't wait to hang out with you more. We're going we're gonna to have a cookie together a little bit later. What do you say? Yeah. All right. Hey, I'm Logan Summit. We'll be coming back with NBA 2K in just a little bit. Big thank you to Player X, CESI, and, of course, the Special Olympics. Hmm.
there any way to lock this chair? I don't know. To where it can't, like... Go back on you? Yeah. Yeah, there is a way. Huh. I just don't know how. Oh. But mine's locked. I think it's on the... I think it's on the side. What's up, MVP fam, and welcome back to another top five plays of the week. I'm Trey. I'm Jay. And in today's episode, this episode is going to be a banger. The oh, clips yeah. that you are going to see this week are going to be featured by Next Talent League, mm -hmm. an all 2K league. And we're going to be taking a look at their top five plays of the week. What you expecting to see? Because I'm I'm ready to see hey, somebody. Get I'm not saying people on. Getting... Come on, man. Talk to me. <laughs> Step back. Pull back. Uh-oh. Uh, fake team. Uh-oh. Fake team again. Uh-oh. Ha. In front of three people. Ha. That's all I want, man. <laughs> Let's get to the top five. Let's and at number five, five, we got Book of go. Book. Okay. Book of Pass. Pass. Swing. Pump, Pump fake. And drive. Time. Ah. Dang. That Bang on him. Hey. Oh, they got it. Uh. That's a hot that one right a there. Child. That's a hot one right there. That's what we doing, Book. Huh? That's what we doing? I, I, like I see you. I like that. Okay, I see you. At number four, we got Book of Book again. Oh, I thought this Is was the like same the game. In this Tell me some Book. Uh huh. Cross. Oh my Behind God. the back. <laughs> Blow <Blue> by. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> Scotty. Great move. See, like, what do you say? You're playing with your team. Y'all all in Discord. Y'all all in party chat. Whatever the case may be. Y'all talking. Yo, man, I got help. I got help. I got help. I got denied. I got denied. I got denied. You and don't. then you just see your teammate just you get don't. a skirt. You ain't got me, bro. You ain't got me, bro. See, me? Me personally. He's going to drop 30 because of you, bro. Me personally? Mm -hmm. I would have been like, yeah, bro, I got help. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and at number three, we got That's your bop. Ooh, double cross. Step uh -oh. back. Behind the back, <laughs> got him jumping for joy. Why Get to your spot, blow by, pull up. Behind the back, mid hey, <laughs> Stop playing with him, man. Hey, stop all that Green. jumping, bro. Stop playing with him, man. You don't do that to a shooter. You don't do that to Harden. You know you got the pumpy with the with, with the behind the back, the step back, the between the legs, the go past you easy. Don't do that. That's a lot to guard what you just said. So why why you think he wasn't just jumping for joy? That's a lot mentally to think about. Next up, we got FT2KL. He's pressing. He's pressing. Oh, he oh, got him locked up. Uh -huh. He got him in a box. Skr oh. Oh. oh, oh no. With the wait, 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 with the little knee. cha cha slide into the oh, pow. Oh my knee. Ah. Oh my knee. Ah. My Lonzo ball. Like, what are we doing? Oh, that's too soon. Oh, my fault, bro. Oh, I didn't know. I thought, I thought. My fault, bro. My fault. My fault, Miller. And at number one, we got a crazy one. O Fab YT. All right, so look, 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 look. Uh -huh. This is what happened. Okay. So you got as we can see, right. O Fab has the ball. Yes. He's wide open. Right. In transition. Uh-huh. He could take this open three. Right. But he was feeling a bit devious. I mean, do you see this score? This is crazy. Crazy. 
Now, this was a best of three series. Uh -huh. The score is 1-1. One, one. Right. As we can see, this 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 game is not looking too good. So it. Fab uh -huh. wanted to Talk add it. insult to injury, Talk so he it. ran all the way to half court and shot a ping. We said it was one one. Where's your fight at? They quit in the third quarter. Freaky tournament oh. over. I mean, I mean, they oh was going nuts to pull a three like that at the end of the game. Oh, it's over, bro. Oh, it's over. At that point, tournament over. Fadden already won. GG. Connection bro. to your opponent has been lost. Thank y'all for watching MVP's top five plays of the week. Uh, this one was a very, very special one. Shout out to Next Talent. Man, y'all need to go tune in and go watch these NBA 2K games. Uh, uh, y'all can see that. There's some real pros out here that's really doing... <sighs> Some some real crazy stuff in 2K. So go ahead and check it out, man. Show them some love. Lil Bro, take us out, man. Hey, man. I just want to say, again, huge shout-out to Next Talent League. All of the clips that you guys seen was from that tournament, from that league. Uh, we seen people get snatched. We seen people get the skirt special. We uh -huh. seen uh, a pl one player just take away a whole team's confidence. Yep. And um, I want more. Me personally, I want more. The next time I see these clips, I want to see somebody get banged on. Yep. I want to see a double alley-oop. Mm -hmm. mm. And I also want to see an ankle breaker into a half-court shot. Hey, Book, you keep passing like that. I might come back to 2K because you. I might want one of them dimes, but that's all I'm saying. Thank y'all for watching the top five. And welcome back to the 37th annual Lee Steinberg Super Bowl party right here in Viva Las Vegas. We're moving on to show our love for the orange leather. I am sitting next to JT, and I got to tell you, there were some exciting plays that just went down that they threw down. Oh, my gosh. Yo, what are we expecting to see today? I feel like we should see a lot of what we just seen, mm -hmm. but to give a correction, they thought that was bad, but that was Chuck who we'll see a little later tonight. Okay. He went back to half court. He had a special perk in 2K called Heat Check. When you have Heat Check, you can shoot almost anything. So it you doesn't might as matter. Well. So he went back to half court and said, you know what? We're up 25. I'm having a demon game. Watch this. See, I saw it as being disrespectful on the court, though. I mean, if, I was, if that happened to me, man, I'm throwing my controller somewhere. Oh, one of them probably did. Mm -hmm. you, you seen once he hit it, quit match. He got up out of there. Boom. He packed it Done. up. Done. Packed his lunch up. Went away. It was like somebody went onto the playground, stole his lunch money, took his sneakers from him and said, snatch. You get none. And it's so crazy because in the game right before that, mm -hmm. they got blew out. You know what? It, they got blew out. It's amazing when they come back to show you what they got going on. Well, we're going to get into this action, but we got to say thank you to the 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 reason that we're all here. We are live in the Player X Arena at the Ahern Hotel. A big shout out to CESI. Slide Drinks is in the house. I can't wait to get one of those when we're done over here. Uh, we've also got Game Hers, one of the greatest outlets and, and, and vehicles for women in esports today. Can't wait to talk to them a little bit later. But let's get into this NBA 2K action. I've got love for the orange leather. I know you do as well. Uh, can you tell us anything about the teams that we got going on today? We It's really like a compilation of a lot of great players that aren't still in the tournament. Okay. But it's just a it's just these teams coming together to really give us something and just showcase some of our best players in this qualifier because trust me, I was here all weekend. We had great games all weekend. A couple blowouts, a couple quits, but even more great games. Well, I'll tell you this, you're going to have to play better defense if you're going to want to win because they just let that sneak into the paint quicker than I believe they wanted to. Um, are we going to are we gonna take that? I don't believe so. Yeah, we call that a pocket, but it would have been a bad pocket because it would have been contested. A pocket is a shot with a small window that only a select few can actually bring. You know what? That's a great more you know moment. If you've got love for the orange leather, but you haven't had an opportunity to check out NBA 2K, that's a, oh my God. He missed the dunk? You know what? Left-handed layups next. Left-handed layups next. And then he missed the three. You know what? We've got a lot of bricks going on. I'm trying to build a house for a summer home. 
We're going to need them to start putting some points on the board, though. It is 12-12. That's Go, kicking great. it out to the outside left, and that is good. That's a three-pointer if you're keeping score at home. It is 15 to 12. And we've got a, that's a, that, uh, that's a five-second violation, I believe. No, well? actually, uh, uh, one of their players actually dropped out of the match. Okay. So we're going to have to have a whole restart. You know, something that you only see here in eSports. That's the one thing, though. It's, it happens in any eSports. Yeah, it does. It's not like it's just 2K no. or just Rocket League. Just I, 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 do, I do a lot of uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I do not need to tell you how many resets we have. And you know what I love about NBA 2K is the ability to be able to take your player and customize it. And that's from downtown, but that's another brick. I feel like that's one of the things that, that was one of my favorite things, because if I go back to my pro days, I used to love that my face would be on a virtual player that, you know, is of course much better than I am in real life. Wow. So that would make it fun, though, that, that it's like just a player with my face on it that's just godlike. You know what? See, I feel like LeBron James feels like that every single day he wakes up. He's like, I've got a player with my face on it, and I tend to be godlike in this. <laughs> yes, sir. I love that hair, man. Yo, is that natural? All right, we've got some lovely curls over here. I'm not going to bring them on right now, but let me just tell you, people expect more from people with naturally curly hair. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, of course. This, this is God-given, you know? <laughs> Well, God graced you with good looks, and uh, you know what? God graced us to be here at the 37th annual Lee Steinberg uh, Super Bowl party. Did you know Lee, is, Lee has been in this business uh, being an agent for 50 years now? I actually didn't know until I called my dad and told him what I was doing. Yeah. He was like, oh, yeah, man, super agent. He really does it. And I'm like, huh. Well, have, really? you, ever, have you ever seen Jerry Maguire? Yeah. All right, so word on the street is that Jerry Maguire – was based on Lee as a person. Not, not, not the story behind it, but the actual, actual agent person. character uh, uh, that Tom Cruise played. Word on the street says that that's Lee. I, I'm going to try to get a confirmation later on from the man himself. But wouldn't you love Tom Cruise to play you in a movie? Oh, I would love it because that means I really made it in life. Yeah. That's one of the greatest actors of all time. Yeah, I mean, Tom Cruise, uh, they don't say no to him. He asked for $600 million to do a, uh, a game in, uh, I mean, film a movie in space. Not a movie about space, but film a movie in space. It was the first time they told him no. And you want to know why? Pandemic. Whoa. So guess what we're getting next year? Him in space. Tom Cruise movie in space. Mission Impossible Space. No, that's not what it is. That's fake news. Aww. I'm sorry, but he is going to do a movie in space, but it won't be a Mission Impossible movie. It's true. I was about to say, if you're paying me that type of money, I'll mm. go in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just think about that, though. You're like, yo, let's imagine pitching that. All right, so, Tom, you want to do a movie about space? No, no, no. I want to do a movie in space. Okay, so the idea is that you're in space, and he's like, no, 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 you're missing the whole point here. I actually want to go to space. And that's when you realize he's a space cadet. Psh, tip your bartenders and your waitresses. Well, we will be here all day long. JT, what can we expect uh, from these teams that are apparently warming up on the sidelines? Just expect teams to really come out and showcase. You know, some of them still aren't in this tournament. They still aren't in this So they have to make their, their, their presence felt, right? Exactly. Okay. Come out here, really show like, okay, I may not be playing later on tonight, mm -hmm. but I'm showing you why I possibly can. I'm showing you why I am one of the best because that is what we do in this special mode we have called post-draft. Post-draft is the terminology we use after the 2K League draft to where the players who didn't make it, they get to, to start the grind again oh, to really great. showcase their talent on why they belong. You know what? I like a second chance. I believe that everybody mm. deserves a second chance, and it's great to be a showcase. Um, I do need to take care of a few business deals here. Uh, we've got ne we got to thank Next Talent League, Devour, The Neighborhood, which, by the way, sounds like the next uh, show that The Wire is going to – The Neighborhood would be – it's The Wire and then The Neighborhood. It started with The Corner. You're going to have to look that up. But if you're like 35 and you're at home, you know what I'm talking about. Wait, 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 wait. That's the greatest show of all time. Don't disrespect me like that. Don't okay. do that. Don't do that. Okay. Don't so do that. Did you ba watch Baltimore? The corner? Yeah, Baltimore. Come ba on. Yo, hey, hey, body look, more. Look, listen, listen, listen. T. Like, don't, it's the wire. Don't do that. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Right. Don't it's do the that. Wire. Listen, don't do that. One of the best TV shows of all time. No, 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 no. The best. Not one of the best. Number one. I agree with you. 
I number agree one. with you, but, but Variety Magazine begs to differ. Who'd they put? I don't know, MASH or somebody. Matt! No, it's not MASH. <laughs> oh, I was but I almost went home. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw you. Look. No, no, it's not. Uh, but also, we want to thank Hightail Media, Neurocatch, and Five Star Pro Academy, and, of course, our special Olympics partners for the day. All right, we've got, we've got some action out here. Uh, are they in the mall right now? What are they doing? That is what we call the city. So, so in 2K now, it is this big world called the city, which has parks, it has stages, it has theaters, it Hold has on. clothing stores, jewelry it stores. Sounds like Grand Theft Auto. It's set with basketball. And no, and I was about to say no cars, but you actually have a dune buggy that you get at level 40 now. I want a dune buggy, a dune buggy bro. Imagine yeah. how cool a dune buggy in Vegas would be. Yeah, amazing. And, oh. and you actually have a motorcycle. I have both. I have a motorcycle and a dune buggy. You got a dune buggy and a motorcycle. You know and what? a flying hoverboard. All right. Now, that's a problem. We Here in Vegas recently, I was at CES. Every single year that I go to CES, you know what I'm looking for? A flying car and a, hover, a hoverboard. You know what every year at CES I don't see? A flying car and a hoverboard. Look, Back to the Future was back in the day when I was a teenager with just a little bit of gold and a pager. When I used to read Word Up Magazine with Heavy D and Salt and Pepper up in the limousine. Look, I'm saying that movie came out a long time ago. I need a hoverboard. Bring me a hoverboard already. So you like Biggie? I'm just saying I might. Okay. What you just saying? I'm, like, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not young. I'm, I'm not old. But every reference you drop, I promise I'm picking it up. And you know what? We're gonna hang out more. <laughs> <laughs> I just made a new friend. <laughs> well, JT, um, what's what? What's one of the things that you can do in this this uh, world where it benefits you in game? Oh, Gatorade facility. So you can go work out. And when you go work out at the gym, it gives you an extra blue bar, which is an extra turbo meter, which, which makes it to where you get tired. It's slower to get tired. And when you are tired, your ratings don't drop as much. Because when your fatigue drops, your ratings do too. Okay. The game becomes much more difficult. But with the Gatorade facility that you have to do weekly. You okay. have to do you weekly. You got to be, unless, be there weekly. Unless you are started too, which <laughs> makes you play the game. So if you're started two, because two K has a rep system. So if you're started two, mm -hmm. you never have to go again, unless you want to get bigger. Oh, so like you can go from like one of the Ball brothers to to Le LeBron in the yep. game? Mm -hmm. Y'all for real? I bet you they don't have matching shoes, but and, and they don't come with that dad. No. Yo, by the way. Thank you. I get it, but seriously, dads need to stay off the court. I'm just saying. Just saying. Anyways. All right. So we're talking about the orange leather, which I – look, I worked at ESPN with Jason Jackson, who did NBA Tonight for years and years and years. So now he does the play-by-play -play for the Miami Heat. And we got the opportunity to live down in Miami and work very closely with the Heat and the Dolphins and all those great sports organizations that are uh, presently kicking it in Miami. So I got to ask you, I'm a Heat fan. Who do you throw down? Oh, I'm a diehard Lakers fan, and I live in L.A. Oh, you know what? Even better. Now, I got to tell you this. Growing up, I grew up in Boston. Guess who had a Magic Johnson poster on his wall? You? Yeah, this guy right here. Look, I, uh, we went, well, I got to see the Celtics and the Lakers when I was a wee little lad play some great, great matches. Now I look back on that, and I was there. I was there for one of the greatest rivalries in all of sports. Forget about just basketball. One of the greatest rivalries in all of sports. And we know for a fact that if it wasn't for Magic and Larry Bird and then Jordan coming in on the back end of that, right, NBA was not set to continue. They were going belly up. They were going broke. Somebody throw a cha-ching uh, sound effect in the background because we weren't going to have any more orange leather. All right, you disagree? No, 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 not at all. Not at all because that it's just that error. Mm -hmm. They kind of were that error. They were. Because when I look at the, you know, Jordan was guarded by Craig Elo on a bad ankle. and. Yeah. Havlicek and mediocre yeah, we Byron We didn't even Russell. brought up the like, Pistons, by the way. We didn't even bring up the Pistons. Oh, oh, okay. oh the bad boys changed the whole 80s look of basketball. Like Dates how they used to literally beat you up. Yes, like literally, literally like, beat you like, up. Like Bill Lambeer looks like some golf buddy who's so nice. He was literally a bully. He, no, he's the most hated man in basketball. Literally, for he a was a, like a bully. He gave you th this work. 
if he could have skated, if he if he actually could put on some some uh, uh, some ice skates, he would have been a great goon in hockey, <laughs> right? Yeah. 100%. But he chose basketball. But really, the dynamic for the Pistons, you know, what sold it on me, uh, sold it for me, and really brought that team together. You already know it's that one man who sometimes wore a, a, a wedding uh, uh, dress to practice. Well, not back then, but. Dennis Rodman tied that whole room together. JT, we're going to take a break in just a second. Can you tell all the kids at home how they can find you? You can find me by typing in Demon JT on anything. That's Twitter. That's Instagram. That's TikTok. That's Facebook. Even Google. I'm Demon JT everywhere. There you go. Well, you know what? We're live here in Las Vegas at the Ahern Hotel for Player X. It is Lee Steinberg's 37th annual Super Bowl Bonanza Party. And you know what? We'll be back in just a bit.
it's glad to, I mean, I'm glad to be seen. All right, what's good, y'all? We back. You know, we had a little lag out issues in the first quarter of this exhibition, but we are back at it. And, you know, it's been a little change up here in the booth. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Jay Jonah, and I am the best sub y'all could ever have off the bench. I can tell you that right now. JT, it's an honor to be here with you. And uh, I love this 2K content that we put together. The clips that we put together for the top plays are a clear indicator that this is about to be a great game as well. I feel like all week we've been seeing just names that it was probably two names out of those five plays where it's like, okay, those were players that could have potentially been drafted. The other guys are just guys really trying to, you know, make their name, really showcase who they are, that they belong with the best of the best. Right, and that's exactly why they're here, to prove that point, right? Got to. It's now or never. That's just really what post-draft is, like post-draft, as I was explaining earlier, is after the 2K League draft, the players who weren't picked, because once you are drafted in the league, you can no longer play in amateur leagues. So since you can no longer play in amateur leagues, that this is for all the non-pros to really make a case, to really show why they think they belong. And sometimes, some of them get picked up in a new feature we have called the Add Wave Drop, where after threes, get to drop a player and pick a player up if he's, you know, not living up to what you had him be in, in the league. Right, so what you're saying is never over. Never. It's never, never over. Never, never. That, that's the crazy part. Back in my day when I was a pro, we didn't have that. Your name got called on that draft day, you were good for six months. Now, you might only be good for three. As we're off to a crazy 12-4 start. It was a nice little 15 to 12 point game off the last leg out. But this game is getting ugly and it's getting ugly quick. It can get ugly quick, but you can also come back quick too though. Yeah. It's only an eight point game, three possessions. That's nothing crazy at all. Right. What they need to watch out for is that heat check though. Ooh. Oh, what's that heat check? Remember what happened last time. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I told you about that. <laughs> heat check, the most dangerous thing in the game. And for those at home that does not know what heat check is, you have to be on the rise of affiliation on 2K because it's rise and elite. You have to be on the rise, and you have to make three shots. And once you make three shots, you have something called heat check. Oh, that was a nice brother, pass. Oh, brother, with that heat check, shoot what you want. It's great. I'll tell you what, they're not going to get a heat check smoking those layups like that. Oh, not at all, buddy. That's the whole point. You have to know how to release it. That's a skill gap in 2K. You don't know how to release every single shot that's possible in the game. That should be good. No, that's good. It's a big three to cut. Man went down and did a nice little push up, something light. Oh, that's a perfect little feature in 2K that we call green animation. So you only do it when you time a shot. That's when you don't hit your like Some do push ups, some dance, you know, some. Some stare and look away. Some do classic like Jordan jumps and all that. That's a play. That right there, pivotal point guard play in this game. That front fade mid, it's hard like, to stop. it's fundamentals. It's hard to stop. Oh my, Patty Mills. I'm explaining you what you'll see all day. Point guards have a base called Patty Mills. And it's the best base in the game. It allows you to shoot the most 50 50 in between shots possible as he rips it off him. Uh oh. It's a great defense. That's what it's going to take to get this W. That's for sure. 19 9. It was 12 7, but now it's back a 10 point game. So, have to start now. They have to start right now. Yeah, they're going to have to wake up. Now, who would you say is the best passer? left in the tournament. I would have to say Booker Booth has to be the best passer left. He was one of the names on draft day, on, on draft night that he was in the building. I was there, he was in the building with his family, and his name wasn't called. And it was sad to see because he really is one of the best guards that hasn't made the league yet. 
So right. I know now he's doing the same thing. As we just spoke on that ad drop period, now it's like he's hooping to hopefully get picked up in that five spot. Right, okay. Good defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a well-deserved uh, point because he definitely had two clips in the top five. You know, and that pass that he had behind the back, I don't know if he was planning to do that or what, but that was one of the dimes of the century, if you ask me. Yeah, we call that a flash. So for those at home that want to replicate that pass, primarily, if you have Xbox, it's hit B twice. If you have PlayStation, it's hit the circle twice. That's called a flash, you guys. And that's how you do it. There you go. Great. It's Great getting shot. bad early. It's getting ugly. It's getting bad real early. We went from back and forth to a player dropping, and now it's just bloody. He getting it ripped off him. But that's something in 2K. You can never sit still. You can never sit still or you or they'll make you put it down. They play great defense, by the way. He about to stick up. Yep. Uh, okay. Stick up. That's the real skill gap at Biggs right now. Even though it's not too difficult, it's getting down there and meter dunking. And for those at home that don't know what I mean by meter dunking, do it by flicking up on the stick and then down on the stick. When you're flicking it down, that's how you time it because it's a whole meter to it. That's why it's called a meter dunk. But it's a big skill gap right now because if you have it down pat, you're hard to stop if you have the right position. Good action. Good oh, they can't need those. those. Stick on. Come on. See? He tried to stick dunk, but couldn't. But he greeted it. So nothing else matters. And then we heard the little ugly little eagle noise he has. That too. We have green animations, but we also have green sounds. Right, so you have right. something you do along with a noise it makes when you do excellent time time. Right. Now, for everybody that's watching JT cast for the first time, it really break down the whole game for you. Yeah, if you really want to learn what's happening in real time, and JT, you know it all, man. I mean, you know the animations. You know the sounds. You know what it looks like, what it sounds like, what it feels like. Because you've been there. I'm an OG. Like, if I don't know as an OG, I I feel like I failed the community. Like, 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 I'm really a pioneer in this community. I really started out when, you know, we weren't big at all. I remember back when I was really playing, when pro -Am first came out in 2K16, I was hyped over 40 viewers. And then next year, look what happens. Now I have 1,000. That's a crazy jump from 50 to 1,000. But and now, look. It's multiple people who, who get a thousand when they stream now playing this lovely 5v5 pro and mode. So it's just like being the OG and really going first round in the inaugural draft. Like, I started. I helped start it. So knowing it is my pleasure. It's one of my joys. I love right. it. Right. It's really an honor, and it's really an honor to just be sitting here with you and then casting the game as well. But you know what else is an honor is the fact that we get to help usher in the new generation of players that are trying to get that next spot, like you said. Because it's never over. And it's every year. Uh oh It's every year. He's going to shoot when he go back left. I told you. I told you. you know the he just missed it. You I told the you. I told you. Like like that, too. I came up as a point guard. So I can read a point guard very easy. But that too, it's like every single year, we have new players that come in and just make a name for themselves. They come out the blue, and we're like, who's that? Where did he come from? But he's so good. And that's just part of the game. These young whippersnappers, they come, pick the sticks up, and they're like, man, I don't know you from a can of paint, but I swear you a dog. <laughs> hey, you know what? The kids today, they got a huge advantage too, man. Because we grew up, and you had to go to somebody's house to play. They're playing against people online at the youngest of ages. And I can't wait to see who comes up next. Like every they year, have, every year. Like they have PCs now. I got my first PC at 24. Some of these kids got PCs at 15. <laughs> I still haven't got a PC. I'm stuck oh, on the console. brother. We got to upgrade that one. Right. We got to fix that one. Because I got both consoles, but I still got my PC. It's I still love it. better. It's still better. Let's get a little wrap up. Stick dunk time. Uh oh, maybe stick dunk time. Uh, he missed it, though. See? Very late. He tried to beat it, though. Reset it. Get it to the point guard. Call that a fat stop. 
you get what I'm saying? A backstop is a left stick move that gives you a crab that puts the player behind you. And once they're behind you, they're cooked. They're dead in the water. And the funny part is, the player that made up that move two years ago, he just got drafted into the league this year. He wow. went 10th overall. Wow. But he made that up, he made up that move as an amateur. As an amateur. He was never a pro, but all pros used his move. But he finally made the league this year. Right, now he's getting the recognition he deserves. And I'm expecting a big That's year. awesome to hear. You know, that's that's pure organic culture. Like you can't replicate that. You know, these are things that just happen be because of the hard work. And we love it because it's just like it's just every year it's they're more hungry and more hungry and more hungry. And this year it was only 35 spots. So the so it was about as tough as it could get because in seven seasons we've never had under 45 spots. This year it was 35. Wow. Like you really had to grind and be the perfect fit for your name to be. Right, and that's the other thing that people don't realize too. It's it's not always about who has the best talent. It's about who fits the best, who has great chemistry, you know, who's a great teammate, things of that nature, and yeah, that, all that goes into consideration. You definitely have to fit that system. Have to fit who they want, how they want things. Like that matters. Like fit matters because talent. 2K isn't this like skill gap game where it's like one player is here and one player is here. It's more so here. So does he fit more? Is he toxic? Does he fit better? Is he a better leader? Like all of that stuff plays a factor right. when it comes to I'm calling his name to be paired up with four other guys or gals to actually compete for a championship. Right, right. And that's great advice from somebody who's already done it, right? This is what it takes. It's not all about just the game. It's about your personality. It's about your work ethic. It's about your morals, right? And these people show that, and they'll have a great chance. Especially 2K League, what you do in those interviews matter. When those GMs and coaches are asking you questions, take your time, prep, breathe, relax, because what you answer could be the biggest difference between if your name is called or if it isn't. It was open though. He could have been there. He got sped up because in 2K, it's a big difference between open and wide open. When it's right. open, that means that 2K slightly sped your shot up. And when it's wide open, it's just no, nothing to think about. It's shooting your regular shot. Blocking foul. I don't foul him with the hezzy. And that was a back end to, um, I would have been cool with a turnover. They're running some kind of play here because that's the center. Oh, he missed him in the corner. Definitely missed him, and I don't think they'll score here. Yep, that's usually how it goes. When you don't take what's there in 2K, you kind of end up on the wrong side of things right. because it's just the way it goes. The same way when you're supposed to get a stop but don't, Right. They're gonna get scored. Right. It, and that, that missed shot is basically a turnover. Take the take the slip. You gotta take what they take give the you. slip. Like stop guessing that corner. Guess that corner one more time. One more time. Please. Slip. Because right there, when when the when the back end, which is the power forward, in the lockdown, when to play that high, you hit the center to give him a chance to make that play. Hitting that corner, now it's a turnover. But if you hit the center. He could dribble from, from the free throw and say, look, is that corner coming? Right. No, dunk it. He's coming? Dish it. Right. right. Sometimes you got to get the hockey assist. You know, make the pass so somebody else can get the assist. That's Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That's it. Win the game. Stats mean nothing if you don't win the game. Right. Mean nothing. That's it. It's like right there, he's so low, dribbling and driving, just back up. He wants to shoot that, that free throw line midi, let him, let him, and stop giving him this free slip. Anything but the dunk. So they I have to that. start calling some kind of rotations because both of these teams are giving up the slip a little too easy. Call the rap to get the non-lock on him. Now he's about to work. That stop. Free board. 
Stick. Okay. Good finish. It's perfect. Got the non-lock on him. Made the back end step up because he had the fat stop, which is a crab. That's a free, a free rebound, which leads to a meter goal. They need to stop right here so they can get this comeback, man. It's only six points. They've been down the whole game. There it is. They're going to score now. They're going to score now. Wide open. What did I tell Green. you? That's how it goes. When you're supposed yes. to get a stop and 2K doesn't bless you, Nine out of ten, you're gonna get a bucket. That's a full breakdown right there. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's just paid 2K at the law. highest level too. Had to give up the three. It's just two K law. It's unfortunate. I'll admit, but just how it plays out. Slip. See, right there. Okay, they scored. But at where, least they were there though. But where he messed up right there is. His dribble move going towards that corner took away the corner read, which would have been the read because that center dropped early and his back end wasn't ready to rotate fast enough, but he still scored. He early jumped and still got the rebound. Now, he rebound. jumped early, then still jumped again and brought the rebound. He might as well have caught it on the floor. Like, that's insane. That's insane. That might be open. It's open. He just couldn't hit it. He just couldn't hit it. Back to a nine-point lead. Need a couple stops. Oh. They have a lot of play calls to where the center just imbounces and he gets it by himself. Oh, dangerous pass cross court. Definitely a dangerous pass, but it was at the point guard. Point guards in 2K24 typically do not have steel. So since they don't have steel, you can throw at most of them, especially in post Because you can't steal it. If right. you can't steal it, well, you have to have an amazing skill gap towards up here, really up here, to actually hit a button. Why not? Try them. Make them make a play. Hey, you know what? That's a good point, too, because a lot of these players know each other or they've seen each other play or they watched each other play in the qualifiers last week. And so they're paying attention to what their build is, what's their advantages, their disadvantages. And a lot of people that are watching, they may not understand what's people's strengths at this moment. That's one of the hidden talents about 2K that I always tell pros, because I used to be a pro. Beat a team in the field. Beat a team in the field. Know their tendencies. Know their go-tos. Know their backup plans. Know their rotations. Know when they do, when and why and where they do certain things that might be green just have to know and some of these players they just know when players are going to do certain things let's pan up that was a big three to end the quarter yeah that was 10 percent covered it was a pretty tough shot to win but only an eight point game only an eight point game definitely still in the game jamal murray the hokey pokey okay good reset See, 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 see? That's what I meant. When last time he sped to that corner, which took away his read. Right. Because that center out that corner is dropping way too fast. And even if he isn't, whoever's job it is to rotate that's closest to that corner has to get there faster. Tell him. Oh, oh he smoked the stick. Need a dump. How you doing? Never mind. Chance to cut it to five. They're rolling right now. Might be open. Oh, what? That's See? tough. They need Told that. See? Bad. Showtime. Never mind. Pass out. Pass out. Yep. Yep. Great time out. Great time, time out. Yep. Great time out. Yep. Turn it over. No chance for <laughs> a meter dunk. Nothing. Nothing. Time out. Time out. Fourth quarter, four minutes left. My favorite quarter, because it's the quarter that separates the men from the boys. Or the adults versus the children. That might be green. You can't Another miss that. Three. You can't miss that at this point in the game. No. Because oh, he's right not. Back at him. No, it's too high. Very early open. 
I think it's thumb slip. We call that a fat thing. Very early, we call that a fat thing. And that's why I switched it up as an adult to children. Because the power cord on one of these teams is indeed a woman. Crab, she was on the team right. USA that just won the gold out of Sweden a couple months ago. A couple months ago. Where 64 countries start in USA proved they were the best country in the UK. As we should, you know, as we should, as we should, because basketball, we run it. Video game, real NBA, we just run basketball. Uh, that's a great cut baseline. All right, 10 point game. Yeah, you know, I'd like to see the home team do some full court presses and see if they can maybe get a steal or something like that. They've been down the same amount since the first quarter. Just can't get over that hump. They cannot get over that hump. So, yeah, a nice little full court press might speed them up, but you got to – the best thing about a full court press is your back end of, of the defense has to be like this. Right. Have to be in sync. If see, they if they, see if they can change up and still be in sync, you know. Oh, he had that corner. Hit me, I'm open. Oh, screen coming. I need that stop. Good stop. It's Simple still in the game. game. It's not over. Not over at all. It's only a, a four possession game. A four possession game. Maybe five. But if you're trying to come back here, you need at least a couple of threes. At least. Can't be all two. Man, and speaking of a couple, they missed those last two wide open threes. That's really hurting them right now. It could be down two. Literally. Someone just wide open, not too deep, not sure tired. I'm talking about corner players. So they still have all, all of their adrenaline. Still have everything. Every reason to knock it down is there. Oh, he's moving. Their range coming. Oh, he's trying to see what their he got. Their range coming. Hey, come stop, on. Stop playing. You already know. Stop, stop playing with me. Yeah. <laughs> stop playing with me, please. And something I always tell them. If I know it, you should know it too. But that was right. actually good defense. He just hit a tough shot. Up, oh, ripped it off. That's unfortunate. Good pass back. Take a slow run to play. Showtime. No need to rush. Good pass, good Showtime. Pass. Great pass. That is good. I'm sorry. I'm going to call it early. About 150 left, 13 point game. That was really good. Yeah, that might have just been the dagger right there. A legal screen, yeah. About that time. It's about that time. A legal screen. We'll be seeing you. But this was a great back and forth game. A very great back and forth game. Never got too floody. Had times where it was a 10-point game, had times where it was a four-point game. But back and forth, you can really see both of these teams really try to fight. Right, right. Hey, you know how you can tell who's the better team that day is. You know, most teams will go back and forth most of the game. But the team that's really better, they'll go on that run just a little bit longer. Or they might even go on one more run than the other team, right? And that's what we're seeing here right now. Because basketball is a game of runs. So you have to be able to fight through and weather the storm. Showtime. Showtime. Oh, it's almost a turnover. I want to say they'll score now, but let's see if my 2K loss still works. Yeah, no. I mean, it's no, it's not even possible. Oh, oh man, with the beta. Yeah. They're getting desperate as they should be. Wait, wait, what's... Okay, 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 okay. Now we're playing just ring around the rosy with the basketball. Right. Oh, the spin move. I was not expecting that. And they tried to go for the half quarter. I feel like he didn't have heat check. And they tried to replicate what we saw in the top plays this week. Yeah, chop. But he didn't have heat check, I don't think. And if he did have heat check, why he missed is his fault. Right. Yeah. It's insult to injury. JT, shut up. That's what he told me. He, he heard <laughs> That's what he said, yeah. He heard you somewhere. 
He got the stream up somewhere. JT, shut up. And I apologize. Yeah, clearly, he's capable. <laughs> clearly, you are capable. No heat check. Because even if he did have heat check and he missed that, it was gone once he missed. Knocks down a couple of free throws, but it's not going to matter. It's that was a good game, though. <laughs> Yeah, the final box score will not show how good this game was because you look at it like, oh, it was a blowout. Like, they won by 17. Like, no, it's just towards the end of the game, it just got out of hand. But for three and a half quarters, this was an amazing game. Yeah, it was a great game. And, you know, they pulled away at the end. But a lot of teams, both teams showed heart. And we couldn't ask for a better matchup. But that would do it for us. For the current moment, it was a great exhibition game between 10 of our best players in this qualifier. So we do thank y'all, and I thank you for coming up here, giving me the assist, helping hand, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. I appreciate you, but that'll do it for us for now. But don't worry, we'll, we, we will be back later tonight. We'll see you then.
there. Tony has with the fire. Tony with the fire. With the fire. That's heat, boy. That's heat, boy. This is heat right here. You ready to sign up for the player? You excited to be on Player X, man? Oh, yeah. Streaming, bro? Going player crazy? X show. This is crazy. Don't, hey, being on Player X is crazy. Being on Player Damn. X is crazy. If y'all didn't know, we about to be on Player X. Bro, if you didn't... Bro, I seen some of my favorite influencers on there. Not to mention Juju Schuster on Player X. That's bro, crazy. Y'all just about to say, bro. Oh, my goodness, bro. That's crazy, bro. Oh, yo, oh, happy weekend. Thank you. I'm a sham. Oh, my goodness, bro. They turn him up. They turn him up. Right now. Get him right Cody now. We gotta, come on the bro. Turn me up. In yeah. the name of Player X and me and Holy God, turn up right now. Come on, y'all. Hey, with all due respect, but even a Player X CEO can't save you from this ass whooping right now, my boy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Set the my Player X. Oh, my God. My boy. I'm like, that's gang, though. That's, you know, shout out for it. That's gang. I'm just gang. Can't nobody help you, my boy. Nobody. Nobody right now. Y'all see, the, the Holy Family Squad is too strong. Too strong. He was left. Yo, that's crazy. I can't believe y'all did. How would y'all let him smack me over the head like this? Man. I, don't, I can't imagine, man. I, hey, man. There's a disappointment in TikTok Live today. I'm a Sam. Follow back instantly. I appreciate you. What? I'm a Sam. You from Mississippi, bro? I'm from Mississippi. Ain't no way. No, I'm from New Orleans. But look, it's definitely right the corner. Very sad today. TikTok Live. You guys broke my heart into two pieces. I can't even put it back together. Yeah. He said the player X CEO wouldn't even be able to save me for the. Whooping that I got today on the live. I don't even know what to say to you guys on the live. I don't even yeah. know what to say. In the name of player, as you guys have, have made me feel like the worst TikToker in life today. Nah, it's all good, bro. As long as y'all go download Player X, man, that's showing enough love, bro. I have to take to another shot to the hot sauce. I genuinely appreciate it. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the name of Player X. Gifts. Ladies and gentlemen, theys and thems, children of all ages, welcome back. We are live from the Player X Arena here at the Ahern Hotel in beautiful Viva Las Vegas. Look, we've seen we've seen Rocket League, we've seen NBA 2K. So we're switching love from the orange leather to a little bit of that pigskin. We've got NFL greats playing what I think should be called Taylor Swift 2025, but I guess it's like Madden 2024. I'm just saying. I've got Bikey next to me. We're about to get into this awesome Madden action. Are you excited? I'm excited to see some football. After that, we got we got some more on the, on the road for you guys, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Well, you know I have. You know what I've always wanted to do. You know what I've always wanted to do. Are you ready for some football? Let's get into it. Yeah, you're excited. I'm excited. We are live at the Player X, and you know what? Everybody's excited to see Marquise and Jeremiah go head-to-head. -head. Look, let's speculate. What teams do you think they're going to pick? I don't know. I mean, Marquise, you know, currently on Arizona Arizona, but, uh, but but does he pick Arizona? Whereas Jeremiah might be taking uh, the Pats, right? That's true. Man, it's, it's, it's a good matchup. Uh, I mean, whatever team they pick, maybe they even pick the uh, Super Bowl, Super Bowl teams that are playing in this this weekend. All right. So look, we're in Las Vegas for the Super Bowl. We've got the Chiefs playing against not the Raiders, <laughs> not the Raiders, and not the Ravens. Nope. 
but the 49ers. But the 49ers. What a great history of Super Bowl champions on the 49ers. Um, who do you think is going to win tomorrow? Ooh, that's a tough one. I do, I do have, I do reside from California, okay. but it's tough to bet against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. <laughs> exactly, you're a smart man. I'll tell you this. Already, the Chiefs are winning 14 to zero against oh, San man. Fran. You, you gotta love it. The only, I'm not sure who picked which team though. That's one thing we'll have to get. That's get, one thing yeah. we're going to have to figure out. Who's playing which team? Uh, thank you so very much. Our crew here has been absolutely amazing the whole day because, you know, we're flying by the seat of our pants for a little bit. Look, we've got San, uh, San Fran on the ball right now. Purdy's going to hand it off. And look at that. McCaffrey. Little, McCaffrey. Number one running back right now in, in all of football. Yep, he's almost guaranteed. Can't, a yeah. touchdown every game. Yeah, almost guaranteed a touchdown every. We can't win a yes, miss. We have the best defense. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Thank you so very much for being a part of our broadcast today. Oh, happy birthday to you, by the way. Happy birthday. Twenty-one seven is your prediction. <laughs> we'll we'll jot that one down. All right, so I have been given word that Marquise is playing KC, and we've got we've got our main man. Jeremiah was not a bullfrog. He was an NFL player friend of mine, and he is playing with the 49ers. We've got KC winning right now, 14 to nil. So Marquise Brown is up, and Marquise right now is currently playing for the Arizona Cardinals. You had mentioned that earlier, but you know what? He got his start with the Baltimore Ravens. I really thought that they had the chance to win the Super Bowl this year. I thought the Ravens were going to be there. Why? Why aren't they here? Man, it was tough. It, it was tough to see them uh, run the ball a lot less uh, during, during that AFC Championship game against the Chiefs. Um, you know, the Chiefs, like we said, defending champions, hard to bet against, and they, they just turn up, turn up at the right time. Well, we've been, we've been watching, we've been watching uh, Marquise uh, run the ball. He goes for a pass. We've got a big-time interception. Oh, my Lord, you didn't see that. That's not a pick six, but it's a great pick. That was an over-the-shoulder catch. Looking back, uh, the sun didn't get in his eyes. He was able to bring it in. Whoo! Now we've got ourselves, well, maybe a little bit of a blowout here. Potentially. We'll see here. We got Patrick Mahomes about that ball. We'll see what he runs on this first down play. One of the greatest uh, right now in the game. I love that. I love that little shuttle pass. Not getting all the way to that first down marker, but that will make it second and one. What do you see? I think we're going to call a run here. What do you think? I think so. He has the lead. It's less than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Oh, he's going for the pass, actually. Look at that with Mahomes on the ball. Oh, and, oh my gosh, he got hit. If that was Tom Brady, he'd be screaming, don't hit me, don't hit me. I'm going to need a penalty flag. I'm, but that's Patrick Mahomes. He's not taking the flag, but he got sacked in the back. He did. I mean, a good hit there. It was a good hit. It, it's amazing he was able to get rid of it because uh, there, there's a good possibility that that was going to be uh, way back. All right, so Patrick Mahomes against Brock Purdy. Look, some would say it's not even a comparison. Yeah, they, I mean, they, they believe that Brock Purdy's, you know, been carried by the team on his back. You know, yeah. you, have, you do have the best running back in football in CMC. Um, but, I mean, he's held his own uh, both, both, both games in the playoffs. He's been able to lead drives in the fourth quarter to take the lead and win the game. Um, I think... He's, he's coming around. He's healthy this year. Last year, he, he got eliminated from the playoffs uh, due to injury. And now he's, now he's fully healthy, and they have a, a really stacked team going up against the defending champs, Kansas City Chiefs. Well, and speaking of the Chiefs, uh, Marquise Brown, they call him Hollywood, by the way. Uh, I love that nickname for him because Hollywood, Florida is a heck of a place. But you know what's really, you know why he's winning right now? Marquise is winning because of strong work ethic. And I got to tell you about the work ethic that he has. Did you know in college, while playing football, while being a student, while being amazing, he also worked at Six Flags to pay his way? No way. That's, that's hard work if you know it. Bro, deal, dealing with a bunch of screaming kids all day and then to go get, get your, your, 
your uh, your in intellect on and to have to play great on the field to be able to progress and move forward and, and make your way in the world today. It takes everything you got to get into the NFL, and you got to get there because here's the thing. Once you get there, you're only there for like four to five years. So you got to figure out while you're there how you can make the biggest impact and prolong your career to make a little bit of that cha-ching as well. Definitely. He, he's been... He's been looking nice lately. I mean, he's known for his speed. Uh, also had a nickname, Jet, going yeah. to college. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a speedster, and he's a great receiver. Well, and Jeremiah's no, you know, no stranger to hard work either. He didn't exactly, he, he, it, was, it was a hard road to the NFL for him. He was on the Pittsburgh Maulers of the United States Football League. Have you ever seen the Pittsburgh Maulers play a game? I have not, actually. I can't say I have either, but you but know But to what? make his way into the NFL, man, that's, that's huge. It's absolutely, it's, it's, a, it's work ethic. It's never say die attitude. It's believing in yourself more than the people around you, right? Because all the haters, all the naysayers are going to try to keep you down. But it's your job to climb that mountain and show them that they were wrong. Love that. And he plays currently for the New England Patriots. Yeah, the Pats, baby. All right, we've got back to the action. Mahomes is still in control. We've got Marquise up 14 to nil he hands it off we've got ourselves run. Look with at a that. nice run can he get past the last defender he does oh another that's the juke last one. another juke to the 30 he has one defender left to pass and out at the 15. yes out at the 15 not able to convert but you know what that was one heck of a run they just couldn't stop him he was no, juking a few good juice in there is that the x button are they slapping the x button <laughs> and another oh, run. another run out wide it looks like he's gonna go in and another touchdown. Opposite side of the Hollywood field, Brown. touchdown, baby. Running it in, making it happen. Patrick Mahomes still being able to hand the ball off and make it. He doesn't have to be the playmaker all by himself. I think that's one of the biggest things that, that uh, is the difference between uh, San Fran and KC. You look at KC, you see playmakers. You look at San Fran, and you've got the best running back. Do not get me wrong. But after that? Yeah, who do they have? Mm. They do have Debo Samuel. He's a kind of a dual threat with the running game and passing game. Um, but, you know, a lot of check down uh, accusations to Brock Purdy. Yes. Uh, you know, we'll see if, we'll see if uh, they can step it up here, though. They well, do have less than two minutes to go, though. It's uh, down to a minute and 12, down three touchdowns. And he scrambles, able to get the shuttle pass out uh, in the flat over there to McCaffrey, showing that he's not just a running back. He can catch a ball and run with it as well. All right, we got a new first down play here. Uh, approaching a minute left to go. McCaffrey handoff. Running down the middle, that is going to have to make them burn a timeout unless they could run a pretty quick play here. They, they're running out of time here. Yeah, well, here's the thing. It's somewhere Bill Belichick is screaming at the screen right now because they don't have the timeouts. There is not good clock management right here. And you know what? Huh. They're going to be wishing they had more time in the day at the end of this. All right, another first down here. Debo Samuel with a nice catch. Oh, we're down to 15 seconds yeah. left. Let's see if we can get some points on the board here for the end. Let's Maybe a little go, Hail Mary. San Fran, air it out now or never. This is your chance to make it happen. Looks like the last play of the game is going go. deep to Debo Samuel. Do we have? He it? catches oh the ball. Oh my God! Oh my God! What a ball! Oh my God! Last play of the game. Where's Doug Flutie when you need him? Touchdown. Doug Flutie, are you in the house? Somebody said me Doug Flutie. I'm saying that was reminiscent of BC, baby. Oh, my gosh. With two I, seconds left, too. With two seconds left, up on the board. No, go for two. Come on. <laughs> you can at least say you didn't get shut out in this game. Well, the point after is good. He did not get shut out. Look, we're in Vegas. The playmakers probably, he probably ruined the spread right there with that touchdown. <laughs> Yeah, the spread for tomorrow is it's pretty close. Well, I'll tell you, you know what my prop bet for tomorrow is? If you put $5 down, you're going to walk away with 1000 If the Kansas City Chiefs win the Super Bowl, and if Kelsey retires, and if he proposes to Taylor Swift, if all three of those things happen, you put $5 down, you're going to walk away with 1000 bucks. in your pocket. I might start digging my pockets here. No, everybody $5 take out that. 5 bucks. we We're going to go bet on black. <laughs> it's Vegas, baby. We're going to turn that money into hopes and dreams. 
Uh, Andy Reid looks really healthy in this game. <laughs> he does look I want to point that out, everybody. Yeah, if you're yeah. looking at the sidelines, Andy Reid, the walrus, uh, cuckoo, cachoo, looks very, very healthy. They might have put him on a diet for this. <laughs> Just I, for this game. I'm going to guarantee he didn't uh, suit up in a green screen for this, okay? All right. All right, so I've just been alerted that we've got one more quick game before we check out what Dr. Ryan C.N. Darcy has to say. He's a neuroscientist uh, entrepreneur, and he's going to be speaking to the crowd here at the Player X Arena in just a little bit to give us a break before we come back and we run a little bit of that COD or Warzone or whatever they decide yeah, to play today. Duty after. I love a little bit of Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. A little FPS, a little first-person shooter for the kids at home. There's going to be a lot of dying in-game, of course. In-game. In-game, of Just course. Just to be clear. Now, <laughs> look, Marquise came away with that victorious. Uh, I mean, that was a decisive it's victory. A, it was a pretty dominant performance by Mr. Hollywood Brown himself. Yes. Now, they're saying tomorrow is going to be a high-scoring affair. So... Do you think we just saw a mimic, a, a 21 to 7 game? Do, did we see tomorrow? I don't think so. I think, I think it's going to be a lot closer of a game. Um, it's kind of tough to say high scoring because these are two of the best defenses in the NFL as well. Um, but, you know, sometimes offense outplays defense in the end. Well, here's the thing. They say, and by they, I mean Mr. John Madden, has said defense wins championships Offense wins games. Are we going to see a defensive battle of the wills tomorrow? I think, I think it's going to be pretty offensive in my opinion. I mean, obviously everybody loves a, sh a good shootout, especially when football games are on and for those with the prop bets. Okay. All right, everybody. So we are not going to get to another Madden game. You know why? Because I'm really excited. I'm really excited for what's going to come next. We're about to learn something. All right. Do you want to put your thinking cap on? Putting it on right now. All right, before I go, before I tell what's coming up next, Bikey, thank you for being with me. You're going to be back with Cod, but tell everybody where they can find you. Uh, I am Bikey Brown on all socials. All right, and I'm Logan Radio Rocks, Logan Summit, and guess what? We've got Dr. Ryan C. N. Darcy. He's a neuroscientist and neurotechnician and entrepreneur. He is the co-founder, president, and chief scientific officer at Health Tech Connex, the parent company of NeuroCatch. NeuroCatch is a medical device company advancing the way we think about brain health. So you know what? We all got to use our brains. So we should be listening to healthy. Dr. Ryan C. N. Darcy. And we'll be back with more awesomeness from Player X Arena live here at the Ahern Hotel in beautiful Las Vegas for, oh my lord, it's <laughs> Lee Steinberg's 37th annual Super years. Bowl Bonanza. We'll catch you in a second. See you guys soon.
What I want to introduce you to is the concept of a cognitive combine. How fast can you think? Right here, you're seeing the NHL Ottawa Senators measuring their cognitive processing speed. Think about this for just a minute. In sport, we spend a ton of time in how we improve our physical capabilities. But what time do you, can you get as a time advantage if you can think faster, if you can read and react and respond ahead of everyone else and actually get to the opening and make the points, score the goals, um, actually out-compete. So how can you measure that? We can do a cognitive combine. And we do that with NeuroCatch, which is a portable brain scanner. So NeuroCatch is on this floor. You can go check it out. It's objective. It measures your brain waves. It does that in six minutes. And down to the millisecond, it tells you how fast you think. So is this a novel concept? Yes. Our top organizations in North America and across the globe starting to do this to win and outcompete? Yes. We have most of the science developed in partnership with the Mayo Clinic and special forces are using this as our Canadian forces. We have hockey teams using this across both the United States and Canada. We have Harvard and Mass General actually pushing forward the science in this to improve upon reaction times and actually measure directly your brain. And we have this going all the way to the Red Bulls, to the Golden State Warriors, and all the way to Australia for, for rugby. These teams are looking for competitive advantage in thinking faster all the time. So how fast do you think? Well, I told you we measure brain waves. These are some brain waves. Here, if you're processing information, just like the words I'm saying now, we can measure how quick you're processing. In this case, 440 milliseconds. We get it down to the millisecond. We can measure that not just in terms of individuals, but we can tell you, for example, in hockey, that forwards think faster than defensemen. Goalies think faster in attention than defensemen and forwards. We can optimize these players so they're always thinking faster. So for example, when they're, when they're looking at someone coming into check, they get 70 millisecond advantage, they miss the check, they miss the concussion, and they score the goal. This is where this is coming through in hockey. So what about football? Well, this morning, we got to test a college athlete. He's right here, Brian Saravo. And we tested him before and after amping up his brain with Neuronic. So Neuronic is in the brain booth. It activates your cells, your energy in your cells, your mitochondria. And when we looked at how fast Brian, Brian can think, ahead of uh, pumping up his brain, he could process information in 504 milliseconds. After we pumped up his brain with Neuronic, he was down to 430 milliseconds. If you're an elite eSport athlete, you're an elite athlete, think about what a 70 millisecond advantage in being able to crystal ball the future, read and react, could do for you. That's the concept behind Cognitive Combine. So if you're interested in that, come see us, come find us. We think this matters. We think it matters totally for eSport athletes. We've got a couple here and we're challenging them to see if they can, how fast they can think. And we think it absolutely matters for football because when you need to process the patterns and react faster and stay in that place, we now have the capability to keep you there. Thank you very much.
and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. We're live at We're the back. Player X Arena right here in beautiful Viva Las Vegas for the 37th annual Lee Steinberg Super Bowl Bonanza. All right, so what have we seen today? We've seen Rocket League with the Special Olympics. We've seen great NBA 2K action. We have love for the orange leather. Heck yeah, we do. We've even switched it from the orange leather to the pig skin on the football field with Taylor Swift 2025, AKA Madden 2024. We've seen that, but now the grand finale. We have some real celebrities on the stage with us today, sure right now, and let's get into it. We're playing COD, baby. It's an FPS. Uh, uh, just an amazing assortment of flashes and things in front of your eyes. It's an amazing game. I play it myself. Uh, we have some special guests here today. Uh, first up, Tactical Grandma. Love Tactical Grandma, right? See her all on the scene. Got to be the biggest influencer out here today. And, and it's a dedication to who she is and what she does and her craft. Because you know what? You're n and you know what? Same could be said about me. You're never too old to do what you love. And Tactical Agreed. Grandma and her husband as well. They're a, just a great Sounds couple. Amazing. Right? Just a great couple making it happen in the COD world and in the scene. We're taking a look at Tactical Grandma right now. She's, she's messing with those keybinds, getting those settings correctly. How much uh, are the settings important to uh, quality of life in COD? Uh, it's definitely, definitely important. I mean, having the right keybinds, I personally play on controller, but knowing the customization that you could do with mouse and keyboard, um, there's so many uh, tricks for bunny hopping, drop shotting, all those different things, and you got to have them dialed in. And obviously, we're in a, a LAN setting here, so uh, it's good that she's getting it tuned in here. We're seeing her uh, pushing here. It looks like they're playing some hard point. Yeah, they're going to have to push that hard point. That, you know what? That's the first kill right there. Uh, Tactical Grandma really turning up the heat early. Yep, she's uh, pushing up right now. Looks like she's going for a little flank here. She did get that first kill. Uh, nobody on the point at the moment. I call that the flank of Rooney, by the way. Uh, and it's, it's a big maneuver here. Yep, she's defending the point right now. Now they've uh, taken the lead here on this first point. Oh, a little misfire there. They got the teammate, her teammate Hollywood Brown here. Right. Marquise Hollywood Brown. Now, they, they've, we can't hear them, but they've got to be talking to each other over there, making sure that communication is tight. Yep, and down they go, both of them wiped there uh, by RTS-6. RTS-6 making it happen, getting it done. And we're still watching Tactical Grandma. Uh, she's about to hurt some people on that point and capture that bad boy. Yep, and if you're wondering who RTS-6 is, that is Silver. Yes! Oh, our, you know what, Silver's been Silver. with us all day long. <laughs> yep. He's a gamer at heart. Uh, he's into stock chain, uh, uh, blockchains, startup companies, Web3, the whole sh uh, shebang. If, you're, if you want to talk about uh, a person who knows some things about the industry, Silver's your guy. Definitely. Here we go, we're switching uh, POVs here. It looks like we're on Mike. Uh, we have uh, Mike Odisho, uh, an up-and-coming Pro Halo player. Uh, love from, that. I love yeah. Halo. You know what? Uh, I really wanted Halo to be the next big Battle Royal game and take COD out, but they <laughs> haven't been able to do it. Speaking yeah. of getting taken out right there, uh, that's what just happened. Yep, here we go. Back to Silver. Back to Silver. Not just a namesake, but he is, uh, he is just a touch of gold. Because <laughs> right by Silver, you always find gold. If you're a treasure hunter, you know what I just said. Oh, and there he goes. He gets, a, oh, a triple oh, kill right there. Making it happen. Gets you, a UAV defend a point. You can actually hear Silver from the stage with his shouts of glory over there. <laughs> He's holding the point good here. Now they, uh, they're they they're setting their lead here right and now. And now he drops the UAV. It was a good hold to drop that now, as opposed to when he first picked it up. Definitely. Still holding here. We'll see if one of their teammates try to rotate early to the next hard point. I'm not sure uh, if where the third is at right now, but two of them are there defending the point. Down goes Grandma. No, Grandma, bake me some cookies, tuck me into bed, read me a story, but don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now we got uh, Antoine Wesley here. Antoine with Wesley. With the shades on, with huh? With the shades, he's looking so fresh and so clean, clean. And with that, he gets blown up. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to blow up his spot, but apparently we just did in game. Yeah, this is probably one of the toughest uh, hard points to catch right here, being in the center of the map. But he gets a kill right there. 
Uh, we got Hollywood Brown over here peeking from the, from the hallway. Gets a nade thrown at him, he throws one back. I never have the wherewithal to pick up the grenade and throw it back. I always get crushed. Let's see. Let's see where uh, they're holding the point yeah, pretty good they, here, and he's holding got, the side. They've got it on lock right now. Yeah, they got kind of like a little triangle offense going right now. And I like that flank uh, that came around right there. That was a big. That was a big maneuver uh, for David. That flank really helped out his positioning. Yep, and they're they're extending their lead here. Looks like they're trying to rotate to the next point. Oh, down goes Grandma. Down goes Grandma. No, say it ain't so, Joe. Uh, they were trying to make it to that, that next point, and they got killed in transition. But here we go. Grandma is going to get up there. They're already defending, by the way. Yep, Grandma's team down currently by 25 points, 176 now. Antoine goes down here. Now, how important is the loadout? What's the meta right now? What, what should these players be using? I mean, in multiplayer, you can use most, uh, multiple things. Uh, but right now, I would say the, uh, the main loadout is probably a Striker 9. We got uh, Antoine here using the Rival 9. Um, we also have the MCW, which you'll see it being a popular use, which is used here by David. Yeah, uh, right very now. popular right and, now. And it's, the great thing about the MCW, uh, it has the range. It does. You can work close range. But you know, on, the, on a map with long lanes like this one, uh, you do need that distance, and you do need that uh, recoil control, which you can't have the same with an SMG. Well, and, and uh, it hits hard. That's the other thing. Yep. That gun hits hard. It's, I, I know you can't feel it, kids, but it is, it is a punch to the chest. When you, Even the sound <laughs> of it is heavier than the other guns in this game. It have is, you noticed that? Indeed. Yes. Yeah, they have, I mean, they have, now, now this is where the MCW might have some, uh, I guess a tough situation, really, because this is a little more close engagement for this particular hard point. This is uh, a close encounter, not yep. of the fourth kind, maybe of the second kind, as they're trying to get uh, this hard point on hold. And here we go, man. Silver just had it. Yeah, Silver had a nice head glitch right there on the boxes, defending the point. Uh, he's still popping off. Down he goes there. Uh, Tactical Grandma gets one back on him. And there's zombies on the field. I just saw Did elite zombies. Them? They said elite zombies are dropping. Hold on. When uh -oh. did this become a zombie movie? This, <laughs> this is a new mode for me. I mean, I haven't seen I haven't seen the zombies in the air, especially in a custom match. It said maybe it's, they turned them on. Uh, look you, at these orbs. Do you hear? You can't hear the gameplay, but you can hear somewhere brains, Barbara. We want brains. Yeah, I haven't seen the zombies in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, I said, guess we'll see them drop. We see the orbs right there. Right. We, That's something new for and, sure. And, and we saw it on the screen, so it has to be, you know, a real thing. Yep, here we have uh, David. David getting killed by Hollywood. Hollywood making his presence felt not just oh, on nice. the gridiron, but also on the quad field of play as well. Yeah, so I mean, Silver's Silver's really, really taking over this game. I feel yes. he's he's been getting to a lot of the spots early. He's been able to kind of hold positions, yes. catch the right lanes, and 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 for lack of better words, mow them, mow them down, mow the other team down uh, while defending these points. Look, you got to be first to fire. You got to be first to the objective. It, you know what? If you're not first, you're last. You're definitely last. And COD definitely will teach you that as well. Yep. Not just Ricky Bobby, baby. <laughs> Not just Ricky Bobby. Here we got Grandma. She's actually running the swarm with the MCW. So she has two guns here, one for near range and far range, uh, which is a good strategy here, especially for uh, these, these different hard points. I mean, there, there's spread throughout the map, uh, for those of you watching. And, you know, depending on where, where the point goes is, is really how you defend it. All right, well, I can tell you that we just, we just saw somebody very unhappy with their, their death because they got, they got crushed before they even knew yeah. what happened. I'm waiting for one of these orbs to do something. I feel like zombies are coming. Also, I feel like we need to point out Tactical Grandma's colors, right? She doesn't go with the, the green and the, 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 the red on her scope or whatever. She's got pinks and purples. Yep. I love that about her. Great combination. Absolutely. The rival. Sounds like we had some audio there for a second, too. Looks like we got the audio turned on. Ah, those are just hopes and dreams. <laughs> those are just hopes and dreams. And you know what? With all esports, there's always a set of technical difficulties that you have to overcome. It's just part of the game. Yep. But we're watching here, though, some, some high skilled gameplay. All of these uh, players here, really good at the game. Uh, 3v3 battles are always, are always really tough. And Silver just continues to. To pop off here. Yeah, Silver's really in control. 
and making it happen. Yep. We've got. I just love the purple and blue, by the way. <laughs> purple and blue looks. looks I'm amazing. used to the green and red, or, or, or the. Yeah, the color setting, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. There, I mean. It's working. They're up to. Uh, they're only 20 points away from from winning this first match. And I'm starting to see a little bit of frustration on the, the faces of our oppo or their opponents. You know, if things get competitive, right? Well, We're all competitive by nature. And yeah, these we, guys are professional sports players. They are one of the most competitive people in the world because every day was a competition for them. Every day yep. still is a competition for them. And that's why they're where they're at. I mean, yeah. amazing. Absolutely. All right, tactical grandma. I don't know. I, I saw her say something off to the side. I think she might still not be liking where her settings are. Yeah, she might have to mess with her, her key binds after this. We got Hollywood over here He's trying to rotate to the hard point. They're currently down. We got Silver working his way to the hard point as well. Currently up. They're only 13 points away. He has a hold of the point right now. Silver has been making it happen. And wow, did somebody call Colby? <laughs> Was that a nade? That grenade came from nowhere. I didn't hear Colby, but you know what? You got to call Colby when you make a, a play like that. Definitely. Yeah. And we got a winner. We got a winner, winner, steak and lobster for dinner. Because guess like we what? Have. We're in Vegas and we're fancy, baby. We're fancy. We also got some audio. That is absolutely fantastic. That was awesome. The winner of the first game goes to David Mike and Silver. Silver, who really, really popped off that yeah. game. Silver's got to be our MVP, uh, really making the plays happen, sticking it yeah. to uh, the other team. Three minutes of hold time. That's Three insane. Minutes. So over twice as much more than anybody else. Uh, yeah, I was going to say more than two minutes, I think, as much as anybody else. Uh, look, they were holding it down. Uh, sorry. Tiffany Bart says your waitress as well. We'll be here all week. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's game number one, down and done. Uh, what did you see? What did you like? What do we need to look uh, to improve on in game number two? Uh, I think the team of uh, Grandma Antoine and Hollywood, uh, you know, I know Grandma's messing a little bit with her settings, but I think they're going to dial in this game. I think they're just playing a feeler game. This is the first game on, a yeah. little feeler. We have some, uh, you know, some... Uh, very uh, talented esports individuals on uh, Silver, Mike, and Davis team. Yeah. And I think it was just kind of a filler game. I, I expect them to mess with their classes like as they are right now, and they're about to turn it up. Yeah. Yo, turn it up for what? Did you see some of the skins, baby? Yo, somebody paid for those skins. Do you get those for free? I don't think so. Those are just so pretty. So That's fresh and so clean, clean. So fresh and so clean. I mean, you got to grind for those. We see, you know, we have a few few of them playing on, uh, you know, the, the host accounts, right. and we have a few using their accounts, so I mean, you know, I feel like there's a nice little buff that you get when you have a nice skin on your gun. Just I, me, is it me? I, yo, no. <laughs> I feel my best when I feel pretty, okay? And we know pretty guns provide pretty fire, and pretty wins come after that. Yes, sir. Getting to game number two as everybody switches it up, up and around, because I came to get down. After this, I'm going to get on my seat and probably jump around. Hopefully, we're going to get these guys to jump around, guys, girls, ladies, and thems, of course, uh, jump around to come back. I, I can see the frustration on Tactical Grandma's face right now, and I know she knows that she can coach this team to victory, right? I think so, too. It looks like she's setting up a class here for a yeah. sniper, too, and if anybody knows Grandma and seen her TikToks, she is known for sniping. Absolutely. Claim to fame on, on, on the COD field of battle is a sniper. Hey, Grandma, I'm going to need a 360 no-scope from you. I see what you're <laughs> doing over there. I see what you're doing. I wonder what class the other guys are at. We saw a few MCWs there, a uh, couple couple running uh, Rival 9 SMGs. Um, depending on the map that they select for this one, we'll, we're going to see. Uh, I'm sure that's going to play a huge part in what they choose here. And it looks like David's going to pick up a sniper as well. Must have got the memo. Must have got the memo. So I guess we're gonna. I guess we're gonna not be playing as tight. We're gonna have uh, some characters leaning back, uh, which we didn't see as much of in the last match. I'm excited. Look, being able to be in the back of the map and scream a bullet through. Uh, look, somebody's gotta have Overwatch, right? Somebody Definitely. has to have your back. This is the COD is so important because it's angles, right? You have to yep. cover your angles, and when you post that sniper up in the back. It, it presents an interesting dichotomy for the other team because it's not necessarily an angle. It's mm -hmm. watching the rest of the field go down, right? Because you, all you're trying to do is pick that one dude out every single time. And put, yep, put and a you bullet in their hold, hold your lanes, uh, you know, yep. watch over your two teammates. Yep. You can see them coming from a mile away. So obviously, you know, 
this great sniper with great comms makes a great teammate. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I'd love to be able to, to be able to get in uh, and hear their comms from time to time, figure out what they're being able to say to each other in in a game. Because remember, they all just met today. Okay. Yeah. You've been playing with your crew for years and years and years, and you know what? These guys uh, and women have got on the stage and just met each other today, and now they have to act like a team? Yeah, that's a, it's a tough challenge. It's, it's a tough not challenge. easy, right? Definitely. It's a tough challenge for both of them. Uh, we'll see if they can turn it up here in, in round two. Well, they're definitely going to turn it up in round two because no one, no one turns it down. This goes to 11, okay? I like it. It goes Crank to it 11, and that's how high we're going to turn it up. Yep, and I, I think, you know, this is, this is going to be a, a lot closer matchup than we saw in game one. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. This will be a, a more decisive match. And, and you can see the look on their faces. These players are talking to each other. They're communicating. They don't, they don't, they don't want to repeat of uh, game number one. Well, if you're on uh, tactical side. Definitely. Right. Yeah, I think, I think Silver's team was perfectly fine with how game one went. Yeah, They'd no. like to do it again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could hear Silver celebrating from the stage, OK? Yep. How do you know you made a good play? Silver screams from the stage, and we can hear him in the booth, right? That's how you know good things are happening. Ooh, All looks right. like we're doing high rise, some search and destroy here. So a little more strategy involved in search and destroy. You only have one life per round. OK. Uh, so this is definitely uh, where the snipers are going to come and play. Uh, we got Silver here running a Renetti. I believe he has an MCW as a primary. I'm 100% sure that we have a sniper on the other end yeah. with tactical grandma. I 100% I, sure. And you know what? <laughs> there you You're go. Right. And with that tactical grandma, bites the dust right off the rip. But that's OK. She'll look her wounds and get back into it. Uh, look, th those handguns are so annoying. Uh, but they, they do the, get the job they done do hit at the hard. end of the day. Don't, Definitely. Right? Yeah. Last one alive here. We have Antoine. Uh, 1v2 situation here. We do have their team defending the bomb, or actually, they're planting. Yeah. Bomb planted here. I love a good plant. It's a, it makes a great housewarming gift. But um, bum -tsh. Oh! Almost with the 1v2 clutch. It looks like the first round goes to Team Silver. Well, somebody Mike didn't and David. have eyes in the back of their head there, right? They needed to have some eyes in the back of their head. And, uh, well, it didn't work out for them. But there we uh, go. See, so, things are changing up. Yeah, they have to change it up. Insert and destroy, first to six. Rounds winning, so I mean, it's still early on. We got another round here. Let's see if, let's see if we can see some snipes connect. All right. Well, talk to me about the strategy here in search and destroy. So there's a lot of there's a lot of lanes. Typically, uh, all multiplayer maps have three lane designs here. Yeah. You got Grandma here peeking down the middle, takes a shot, misses. Uh, one of her teammates goes down, and I mean, ideally, you're you're playing for your life. You only have one life, right, right per round, and. Uh, so you got to be a little bit, you can't just kind of push anything. You do have to be very strategic. Check your corners. Uh, make, sure, make sure you got it down. We got, we got Silver here planting the bomb now. Now, is this a camper's heaven, being one, one life to live? I think it could be, especially up front. I mean, there are some aggressive players, but in Search and Destroy is definitely a more about positioning than anything else. We got uh, Hollywood about to push out of his spawn here now that this bomb's planted. Uh, it's, a, it's requiring them to have to push up because they have to defuse here. So it's 2v2. We have Hollywood going down. Going down and Grandma last alive here. Yeah. She got eyes on one of them. Takes some good shots. Oh! Gets them. Long shot, 30 meters. Grandma getting it done. One left here. Not Let's see if she could clutch it. Reindeer. Three seconds left to defuse the bomb. Don't think she'll get there in time. Silver Ooh. underneath the stairs there, able to clutch it. That was a close round. That was a very close round. Hopes and dreams were lost there at the end. Uh, I might even shed a tear there. Valiant effort, though, by Tactical Grandma there. Yo, 1v2 situation. For real. Silver celebrating over there at yeah. his booth. You, you know he's happy so, so far. Yeah, we got a thumbs up from Silver. We know what's going on. I, I'd love to get into I'd love to get into the comms of Tactical Grandma right now. Yeah, I'd love to know what's going on with, yeah, it, with the team. Yeah, that was so close at the end. Uh, if anybody was going to make it happen, I, I, I put my money on Grandma every single time. 
Let's see, we got Silver taking the underground this time. Probably, probably trying to miss those snipes from Grandma. Yeah, probably trying not to get their head popped up. Looks like they're, this is their favorite place to plant, so they're, they're, they're pushing the same spot again. All right, now how do you feel about going back to the well one too many times? You know, sometimes they say if it isn't broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. Yeah, true I guess enough. I should have said ain't, huh? Uh. <laughs> That's the true, true toying on it. All right, look at that. Oh. oh, my gosh. What a snipe. Do we get two for one on that? No. no oh, he, he goes for the 360 and he misses. Went for the 360. We commend him for that, though. How do we know we're having fun? He just went for a 360. That's what the show's about. We got Hollywood here Ooh. taking some shots, peppering him up over on the B target. If you hit one of those, I'll clip it. Get ready for the next 3-0 deficit. 3-0 deficit. Can they come back? I, well, what do you think? Technically, no. Can <laughs> they? Yes. yes. Definitely. It's a, it's a huge deficit. Yeah. As anybody knows, uh, being down 3-0. I mean, it is it is first to six, though, so you know we won't count them out yet. I think they do need to win this round, though. No, no, they have to win this round. I'm a big fan of taking the time out sometimes. To, 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 I know we're not talking pros right now, yeah. but, uh, you know, a little timeout, recoup, yeah. talk, we talk game plan, maybe, maybe uh, you know, decide on a different strategy, maybe. I'm the Bill Belichick side of gaming. Take a timeout. <laughs> All right, that worked out well, though. David just made that happen. Yep. Oh, Silver that goes down. That's, that's huge. That's huge, that's for, huge for Grandma's team here. Well, they need to take Silver out early and often if they're going to uh, bring this home. Yep. 2v1. Oh, oh, David. Hollywood Brown goes down. You know, there's a big frown on his face right now. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, you see what I did there? I'm a wordsmith. All right, we got them uh, peeking, holding, holding B right now. Oh! oh they, they push, they push. Down he goes. Tactical grandma. Can she win the 1v1 here? Whoever sees each other first. Oh! So close. So close, but yet so far. All right. What a clutch from David here. Big clutch from David. He's got a little smile on his face. Yeah, David, we see you. We see you. So does Tactical Grandma. You might not get a Christmas card to keep that up. <laughs> All right, so right, at this point, somebody settings. needs to make a, a, a change in, in strategy. Definitely. Right? Yep. I mean, it is also hard because they are playing defense this whole time. Yes. Uh, defense, you know, it, it's, not, it's not Rainbow Six Siege where defense actually gives you a benefit. Correct. Sometimes, you know, offense is the defense. You know what? <laughs> We're going to find that out tomorrow as well during the big game, as they call it. Definitely. We have uh, Silver running the, running the low side again. They, they, they really like this spot here. This is, this is yeah, the spot that they've been planning every, pretty much every round. They've been going back to it. And if it ain't broke, broke don't, don't fix, fix it. it. We're going to need a T-shirt that says that, please. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Somebody get on that. Let's see here. We have a uh, 1v2 situation here. Grandma, Let's see, we have Grandma, we have Mike, and David. David. Uh -oh. oh, Hollywood. Hollywood and Grandma, 2v1 situation here against Mike. Let's see if uh, they could get their first round here. They got the bomb in sight. He's, he's planning it now. Oh, man, I, I can feel the tension right now. It's yeah. This is a must-win yeah, round. Yeah, must-win round. The tension is palpable. Yeah. We got Brown oh! going for the defuse. That was Mike huge watch right it. there. Another 1v1 situation. We have Tactical Grandma, last alive. <gasps> Gets him from the top. She can go in for a defuse, and they are on the board. They are on the board, kids. It, no more goose egg. Tactical Grandma making it happen. Disables the bomb. Fist bumps all around, yeah. and somebody give out some cookies because you just earned them. I mean, hey, if you could get one round, you could get two rounds. Yeah. And if you get two rounds, rounds maybe you could get, get three. Yeah. You, do you think they're gonna? Do you think they're gonna start a triumphant comeback right now? Potentially, they might have some momentum shifting their way. I think Ooh. they talked a little bit of strategy there in the background yeah, while they we were watching. Did. And oh, the game is over. Wah, 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 wah. So we got a 4-1 victory. Uh, Silver Mike and David going 4-1 against Hollywood Grandma and Antoine. We'll see, what, we'll see what went on here. Uh, I'm th I'm it's a little premature. I'm thinking that may be all she wrote, kids. Yeah.
Yeah. Awesome. All right, so to the point that they needed to make a change, guess what? The powers that be have said Juju's in the house. We all love us some Juju. Oh, boy. His aunt gave him that nickname, by the way, back in the day. Uh, so Juju's going to hop on here and make a difference. Now, who's he stepping in for? I believe he stepped in for Let's David. He stepped for David? He did. All right, man. So the a good team, you know, we'll see a new substitution for Juju for David. Let's see how he fills in there. They did have some chemistry already in the first two games. Right. Let's see if having the former Super Bowl champion, Juju right. Smith-Schuster, uh, adds champion. value to her team. He's got so many. He's got tons of records, by the way. He's not just a Super Bowl champion. He, most of his records are about how young and successful he is. He's uh, the, the youngest player to reach uh, 1,500 yards uh, in his rookie year. Uh, yep. He's the youngest player to reach 2,500 yards. He's the, uh, one of the only players, I believe, to have two over 97-yard uh, touchdowns, touchdowns yep. right? Yeah. And we also seen uh, with his years with Pittsburgh Steelers, he holds a lot of franchise records. He does. And now let's see if he can make uh, some records here in COD. Yeah, we have them. We Look at have those shades. Here. Those are some nice shades. No, those are those are evil. What's going on underneath those? You play poker in those, sir? <laughs> Do you play poker? He's in probably those? trying to protect the screen peekers. You know, since we're at land, we have these PCs right next to each other. You know, they might yeah, have to read each other. They don't have time for that. <laughs> they don't have time for that. They're too busy trying to make it happen for themselves. All right. Definitely. We'll see what game mode they step in for this one. I, you think it's going to go back to hard point? Maybe another search and destroy? I know they ended that one prematurely, but um, we'll see. It's a 3v3 battle. Those are, those are two of the popular game modes. Yeah, well, you know. They do have control. Your guess is probably going to be as good as mine, all right? I know we're getting towards the end of a great day here. Uh, we've had a lot of gaming, a lot of excitement. I can't wait to get one of those uh, Player X hats and one of those Player X shirts from the Player X uh, folks that are stepping right outside here. Well, big thanks to Player X. A big thanks to CESI. Also, Sly drinks in the house. Hey, Sly, have a drink. Don't mind if I do. Great drinks, by the way. Very I mean, this tasty. really it tastes yeah, good. Refreshing. And one of my favorite uh, vehicles for the female side of esports, Game Hers in the house, making things happen. They're a tremendous organization that empowers women uh, gamers and, and esports uh, entrepreneurs. And um, I can't say enough about the organization. Also, we've got uh, Landfest, next talent league to thank Devour the Neighborhood. Don't devour the neighborhood. They're, they're <laughs> yes, two, two, se separate, two separate, two separate entities. Uh, Red Light Therapy, NeuroCatch, High Tail Media. Of course, we wanted to thank Tactical Grandma and all of our great uh, sports stars and influencers that have been here throwing it down today. Five Star Pro Academy, and of course, our impact sponsor of the day is the Special Olympics because we are live at the Ahern Hotel here in beautiful Las Vegas during Super Bowl weekend. I'm not allowed to say that, but I just did the big game weekend. Come find me. Can't take blood from a stone. And we're in the, uh, the Player X right here. It is uh, Lee Steinberg's 37th annual. 37 years. 37, yo, I, I, it's That's hard incredible. for me to do anything in two times, like two years in a row, let alone 37 years. Yeah. He's been in the business being an agent for 50 years. 37 of those years throwing a great Super Bowl party. And uh, a big thanks to, to Lee and our production team uh, for having us here and allowing to do this. Back to the action. What do we got going on here? Here we go. Looks like another round of Search and Destroy. But yes. now we have Juju Smith-Schuster stepping in here yeah. uh, for, for Mike uh, from the Silver and David team. So now we got them going up against Grandma, Hollywood, um, Antoine again. Let's see, let's see if things change. Grandma's team just won a round two. They're coming yeah. off a win on a round, so I think they found their groove. Maybe, maybe this shift uh, momentum? I don't know if Stella's on that stage, but she may have got her groove back. We're gonna see what's gonna happen in this round. Uh, there was a definite teamwork making the dream work happen. They talked about it. Let's see if they can. Oh, Ooh. Juju coming in hot with a snipe right off the bat. One shot, one kill making a difference. Grandma able to clutch it though, nonetheless, and they got another round here. First round of this matchup. And you can see the smile is ear to ear on grandma's face. Hey, you don't want to disappoint your grandma. 
Maybe let her win a couple rounds, just saying. <laughs> Hey, look at that smile. She's, she's yeah. She, they're enjoying their time up and there. They, for they sure. are, and, and this is all that. about fun, right? Yep. All about fun. We're having fun. They're having fun. Everybody here is having a good time. All right, we got the POV of David here starting round two. Uh, they are carrying the bomb. We got Ground with a knife out. Is she gonna do something a little sneaky? Nah, she's just being. Yeah, she heard you. She's just being cautious. Oh, she does have the sniper out though. Beautiful skin on that thing. She's been and she's been throw, been known to throw bullets through your face. Oh, Juju just goes down like that. We see a we see a, a look of disappointment on Juju's face. Yeah, if he's still trying to figure out his loadouts, I know he just just got here and he's he's just, he's kind of gotten thrown into the war zone here. Uh, you know, kind of thrown to the to the lions, really. Yes. All right, we've got it down to two v two action. Yeah, we have silver. Ooh. Down Ooh. goes David. Yo, an 0-2 start O2 for start. the newly formed team of Juju, David, and Silver here. We've got a goose egg on the other side of that, not looking good. So it seems as though the change has been beneficial. Beneficial for one team. Well, <laughs> for one team. Hey, can't, can't have it be beneficial for everybody. Yeah. We'll see. I think, I think Hollywood, uh, Grandma, and Antoine, just they just kind of started... They got their, they're in the groove. They, they got their, they got their sniper. They got their ARs, man. They got their, their runner, you know. And we talked about it. We said, look at them. They're talking to each other. They're communicating. They're making it happen. And indeed, they did. Yep. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe a sign of some nerves. You know, Juju's, Juju's a pretty big star, you know. And playing, playing with these guys. Uh, I mean, we're all big in their own right, you know. Just team changes. Sometimes it's just. Makes you a little nervous sometimes, but maybe they'll 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 ease into it just like how Grandma's team did the first round. Well, it's it it's around. not as though the it's not like we're watching a pro tournament where they're bringing in an alternate. Okay, the, these players are fresh to it today, anyways, right? Yep. They they don't know Adam from, from Adam from Eve right now, right? And there you go, round number three. Grandma Look at with that a knife. I know Grandma with a knife. Stop showing off, Grandma. She's showing off. Yep. Oh, she's smirking over there. Yeah. She's, Look at that. She's warmed up now. Ever been trolled by your grandma? Uh, just happened. All right, entering round four here. They have a 3-0 lead. We got grandma trolling here. Let's see if she might hit a sniper. I think, I think somebody might run down the lane. She has her spot here. She knows she plays a lot of S&D herself. Right. And um, so yeah. she knows oh, this lane. Takes a shot. Yeah. No hit there. Would have uh, would have been checking her PC if she did hit that. That was a, that was a nice shot there. We got Hollywood also with the sniper, so it looks like they're all pulling out snipers this round. You know what? Everybody came to a snipe fest, kids. It's going to be an exciting round of COD that way. Yep, we have them defending, so they're kind of staying back a little bit. Grandma in pursuit here. Oh, oh almost had him, but her teammate had her front. Now, you know, <laughs> Grandma is running around knifing people in the back. That's not nice, Grandma. Oh! We're going to have to put you in timeout. Grandma with the quick scope. Did you see the, the quick scope? Round. That was insane. Grandma's making it happen right so there. That's she what she's known for. She is. That's and definitely going to be a clip. That's fist bumps all around. Yeah, somebody clip it and rip it, kids. That's going to be on Look TikTok. Look at the calling card. She even has a Grandma calling card. So that, fitting. So fitting, right? Grandma's holding it down right now. She's feeling it. You have the whole team up now, 4-0. Yeah. round five. Here with David, they got the bomb still. Let's see what they can do with it. They haven't been able to plant this whole time, so maybe they'll be able to get the bomb down. That would be, that would be nice for this round. I, I'm a big fan of, being, of planting that bomb uh, and getting it, getting it done. I mean, it is part of the game. Yep, if you get down early too, you, yeah. you kind of force them to, you force them to kind of have to make a move. They have to push up. Well, they do. do. There's no waiting around. Did you just see? They just dropping bombs, baby. Oh, man. We got Cruise a missile, missile launch. Anton takes one out. Now it's a 3v2. And we do got the bomb plant. And now we're getting a bomb plant. Back at the favorite spot too. There, uh, yeah, you know what? If it's not broke, don't fix it. All right, that was a great uh, RT, by the way, David there. That was a great, he was almost about to die. <laughs> All right, we got 2v2 here. Oh, spoke too soon. Here we are, we got Juju here. 1v2 situation, he gets one, needs one more here. The he tension is palpable right now yeah. as he throws uh, throws on a flash. He got him. And they have to go for the bomb because there's only nine seconds, nine seconds to defuse. Left. So as long as he holds him off enough, 
There he goes. He clutches it over Hollywood. Juju oh takes out Hollywood, gosh. and they get around. Juju takes out Hollywood. Juju takes out Hollywood. The newcomer. We're, we're starting a rivalry right now. Absolutely getting it done, huh? Yep. And they got the round, so now they're on the board. This might be the momentum shifter they needed. It, it obviously is. There's some things happening over here. Let's see if they go back to that same spot. Now, I, I think that's their, that, that is their spot. I, I think we're at this point calling it bread and butter. You know what? Somebody pack a, pack a hammock with them, because I think they're going to be sleeping there, because that is home, baby. That is home for sure. Oh, David gets caught there knowing that that is their spot. Spot, yeah. And he smiled because you know what? He knew. He knew. Yeah. He walked into. He walked into the lion's den. There you go, Silver. Silver taking Hollywood out. Hollywood take a seat. All right. Does he have the bomb? I think he's the bomb carry. Puts the trophy oh, down there. Oh, oh grandma with a knife! Grandma with a knife! Coming in hot. I see you. I see you, Grandma. Look at Grandma <laughs> making me get out of my seat grandma with a knife from behind. There. Oh man. I mean. When you have that knife out, you're just moving so incredibly fast, fast. that it's just yes. it's just too hard to react, really. And it's just a one one hit down. You know, as soon as you put bullets in them, it's she's too late. proud of herself right now, isn't oh, she? Oh, definitely. She's hitting snipes. She's hitting knives. What else can she do? I, well, I, I'm gonna need a 360. 360, right? 360 would be lovely. That's Grandma, on my Grandma, bingo. we need a 360, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's definitely on one of our bingo cards, yeah. and hopefully it hits. I should have brought my Warzone bingo. Yeah. I should have. We could have made a parlay on this one. I know, yeah. right? This is the third leg of our parlay here, looking for a 360 from one of our competitors. Yeah, come on. I'm like a child. <laughs> Don't disappoint me. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, let's see. We got a kill cam here. Looks like Gigi went down. But they're going back to B. I'm okay with it though. I, I think at this point that strategy has worked. Uh -oh. All right. Down they go. Let's see who's, who's POV left line. We have Silver, last alive. And down he goes 5 2. They're able to bounce back, win another round. They only need one more round to complete the victory here. Uh, after losing the first two games, right. we see Hollywood, Grandma, and Antoine turn it around these, this, this game in the last. Yeah, absolutely making it happen. Um, I think Grandma just got sick of losing. I think so too. You know what? She put her try-hard pants on. She did. It's a good thing that she packed extra. <laughs> Here we go now. They have the bomb now, so we'll see how it works. There's there's switch sides. Uh, we got, you know, Hollywood Grandma and Antoine running the offense here. Hollywood taking a line down the middle, seeing if they see anybody peek here for a snipe. We got Grandma also Where's holding your an angle. Head at. That's what she's Where's waiting head for, at? right? Oh, oh, they trade down comeback. there. Hollywood Brown, sit down. Before going down, he was able to take out one of them, though. Looks like he was able to take out uh, Silver there. We're going to need more refrags if uh, this is, this is going to go down. Just saying. All right. We got David here just checking his corner, trying to be safe here. They are defending, so they don't have to push up too far. Right. Uh, Grandma's team, you know, they have, they have to push up and plant the bomb if they want to apply some pressure. It would pay off to not be overly aggressive here. True? It, it would, definitely. We got Silver here. Yep, it's a 2v1 situation now. I believe last alive is probably Antoine on the other team. And we're going to see we're gonna see what happens here. We got Silver holding it down, and we got uh, David. Now we get to the cautious play of the game, right? Yep. This is where the audio really comes into play. It is loud in here, though. This is an amazing event. Yeah. And it's pretty loud in here, so we'll see what they can see through there. Silver able to get the knock there and win that round. All right, so we got game point here, right? Yes, yeah, we're sitting at game point. It's 3-5. Uh, they just want this round to bring inch a little bit closer. Will the comeback happen? We don't know. And we, well, we got to see that smile again on Silver's face. So uh, there, there may be a chance uh, to drive this home. Let's see if they can switch it up, up and around. We'll see. He has, he has the MCW. They're rocking the MCW for the most part while the other team is sniping. So I mean, you know, as long as they keep their head on a swivel and don't get sniped. Oh, right on cue. It looks like Juju there got sniped. I'm not sure who the uh, delivery man was, but or woman. Yeah. But uh, great shot on their end. That was tight. Somebody's going to be looking for that in their clips. All right, we got a 3v2. Tactical Grandma's team has the advantage, and they are on, on game point. On game point, yeah. 3v1 here. This is for the match. This, this is not looking good. Not this looking is good. not looking good for them. 
Tactical Grandma's got, she's got the, got the high ground. Now she gives up the high ground, uh, but she goes in. But she goes in and she goes in hard. Grandma, that really is game over. Game. Tactical Grandma making it happen. Wow, what a great team! They really tied the room together, didn't they? <laughs> they sure did. I mean, Tactical Grandma snipes, knives, throwing stuns at people, gunning them down. I mean, she did it all that that round. And that's why she's here. Yeah. That's and why have, she's I mean, here. And we have even Antoine, 13 kills this match. She was the leading fragger. Kills. So, uh, shout out to Antoine. He, yeah. He carries on. He told me he plays a little bit of Warzone himself, and he, he's dropped 20 bombs in his day. So, I mean, him popping off just validates that, and he did an awesome job. Absolutely fantastic. Look, um, that was a lot of fun. You could tell Tactical Grandma was enjoying herself. Definitely. I mean, they, I mean who doesn't love playing Call of Duty? Oh, well, uh, you know what? The Fortnite players. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Fortnite's gone so advanced, too. But, I mean, you know, this is a great, great exhibition here of, of some really great uh, creators and NFL players that we have here and all our special guests, and we're, we're thankful to be part of it. Can we throw some final remarks? Yes. Final remarks? All right, here we go. We have made it to the end of this broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, thank you for being here so much. Thank you to our great production team, all of the staff that came out here to make it happen. Thank you to our great sponsors. We got CEIS, Player X, Slide Drinks, baby. Have some of that. A lot of other great sponsors, including our main sponsor, the Special Olympics. We are live right here at the 37th annual Lee Steinberg Super Bowl Bonanza, live at the Ahern Hotel in Las Vegas. And you know what? I think our good friend Gordon is going to give some remarks. And we're going to, you know what? I think we're going to go over and have an adult beverage while our good friend Gordon closes it up. For my good friend Bikey, I'm Logan Summit, and this has been live from the Player X all day long. It's been truly exciting to be here with you. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm going to get your attention real quick. Let's hear it for all of our players today. Can we hear it for everybody? Checking out this activation. First of all, I want to thank Player X and Mike Vela. Where's Mikey? We got Mikey in the house. But thank you to Player X, our, our main sponsor today, to Sly Drinks. We had so many great partners all the way around. Devour, Game Hers, the Esports Trade Association, the Neighborhood, Hytel Media, the like so many, I can't even think of everybody, but just thank you all for coming out. I'm Gordon Hinkle, the president of College Esports International. And if you like this kind of event and you like to be part of it, come out and support all of our esports activities in the future. But I want to thank all of you for coming and being part of this today. All of our NFL players, our influencers, it was just such a great time and, and just a pleasure to meet everybody. So continue to talk and have fun, but we have to shut down this room. So everybody, with the, if I could get your attention, we have to clear out the room. We have our, our NFL Hall of Fame group coming in here soon. So thank you so much for coming. Let's hear it again for all of our support and all of our technical teams who helped put all this together. Michigan, Michigan State. We had some just amazing players today. Tactical Grandma. Tech to Grandma was a, check her out online, you guys. She did an amazing job. Thank you to our shoutcasters, to the Special Olympics, and everybody who played a part today. Just an amazing group of people. To Landfest for helping put the production together. I want to give a shout out to them. Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you soon. But please, we have to clear out the room. Thank you.